Peace of the family. We should be live right now. Oh, what's good, family? Let me make sure. Yeah, let me fix this audio on my end. Damn, you know what I want to do? Uh, they allow you to play background music. Now, I wanted to play some background music by that sound. And I think it's too late to do that now, family. While, while Dr. B is talking, I'm experimenting to see if I could do that. Listen, without further ado, I, I got black, I got black ground music we can play. No, it, it, you able to put it within StreamYard? It, it's a yeah. specific choice, so it uh, let me let me see what you got, Doc. It ain't open, oh, ain't copyrighted. They ain't copyrighted music, is it? By me? Did, no, did you copyright it though? I don't want them to, to strike the. You know what I'm I saying? I own everything. No, I know, but did you register it with with YouTube? The YouTube content ID. You get what no. I'm saying? No. Oh. All right, cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because if it's with YouTube content, then they're gonna strike the uh, the video and take away monetize. And, you know, they do all types of shit. But um, so they, you know, they they try to protect the creator. So I, I totally understand it. Can you hear? It? Yeah, I hear it very very lightly. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what I don't hear. I hear something, but you hear some crickets. Oh, okay, okay. It's gonna yeah, happen. It, it's all gonna right. Happen. Yeah, it, it takes a while. Okay. All right, family, listen. Oh man, I, brother Rich been running around all day long today. So I didn't um, I just put up a post. I just put up this post about an hour ago about this show. Literally been running around all day. But I want to thank y'all for tuning in, coming on the show tonight. See y'all filling up the chat now. All right, I got the good Doctor B serious with me tonight. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I want to give a shout out before we get started um, to Red and Blue. They got something happening in Atlanta this uh, Saturday. So shout out to Red and Blue. I think they're having um, a strain release, album release, book release. They're doing all types of stuff in the A this Saturday. So I'm, I'm going to have them on the show on, on Friday. So we'll talk about it. But um, shout out to everybody in the chat. Let's get this thing going without further ado. Welcome back to the platform, the good, the one, the only, Dr. B. Yes, 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 my brother. Welcome back, Doc. Man, I'm honored to be here once again live in the living color. It's a phenomenal time to be on time, in time, in the rhythm of time. Hey, this is, um, you know, this is home. This is home. I, I want you to consider this home when you come here, brother. So I want you to be comfortable. The people love you. You know, it's funny. Somebody, I did a show by myself the day after the eclipse and the sister had asked in the chat. She said, well, and I was just telling about all the speakers and, you know, everybody come with a different perspective, but we don't have to judge somebody just because they have a different perspective than us. Um, that's their, their way to ascension. So they asked me who's like some of my favorite speakers. So I said, Dr. B serious. I, I mentioned your name. I said, well, Dr. B is definitely one of my favorite guests on the show. And I was telling them how, well, you know, I appreciate anybody who comes with an an empowering message, you know. I, I, you know, I've, I've been a victim long enough in my life. I'm tired of that shit. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't need to be that. I, I experienced that when I was what I don't know, 16, 17. I'm, I'm tired of that shit. So, you know, once you realize the power that you possess, even if you don't know how to fully access those powers, it doesn't mean that you should still victimize yourself. And I know I got a lot to learn in this realm in terms of the potential that I have is limitless. So I'm going to be learning the rest of my life, but I just wanted to start out by saying, by giving you your flowers and saying, I know you nominated for spiritual leader of the year at the forbidden <laughs> knowledge awards and all of that, you know, all that good stuff. But I just wanted to let you know, personally, you know, a brother who spits, who speaks, asks questions to, and, and, and listens to some of the greatest melanated speakers all over the globe. Um, I really, really appreciate the message and I resonate with it and I love how empowering it is. And I not only love the intelligence behind the message, but the heart behind the message. There's this brother name, and I'm going to say this, that I'm going to let Dr. B start, but this is how I wanted to start because we're talking about the law of universal rhythm and this message will change your life. There's a brother that came on the show. Let me say this real quick, Dr. B. The brother name is Makaba 13. And I, oh, I was asking Makaba about prayers and I was telling Macabre, I was like, well, you know what? It seemed like sometimes the, you know, we was more effective under religion than we are under this so-called new age movement. And we started talking about certain things. 
And I seen he put up a post on Instagram the other day. And he said, one of grandma's, you know, big mama, grandma's Christian prayers is more powerful than a hundred witches prayers on Instagram. And he said that it's because she had heart attached to her prayer. And it wasn't a lot of people that's in the spirituality. Now it's about the aesthetics, you know, how, how, how do I, you know, my hat got to be a certain way. I got to be dressed in a certain garb. I got to have one certain amount of beads or I got to smell this. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. We all love what we do. Just like I love to wear the gold. You love to do what you do. But he was just talking about how the aesthetics sometimes override the heart within the message. And um, we have to keep that in mind as we criticize Christians. Their prayer sometimes is more powerful than an Osiris prayer. Because that Jesus prayer may come from grandma's pure, loving, unconditional heart. And that's what I love most about this brother. I feel like his message comes straight from the heart. And anything that comes from the heart definitely resonates with a heart brother like myself. Um, that is my that is my main weapon of choice, if you want to call that in this realm. With that being said, Dr. B, you bring so much to this realm, to this platform, to this global community. Let's talk about the law of universal rhythm and congratulations on the nom no nomination, my brother. Let's get this thing going tonight. Well, I like to tap in on what you just said about heart. And for yeah. some folks, they may get a little confused when they hear heart because of the times people have had what they call a broken heart and yes, had their, 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 their hopes and their desires seem to be broken. But yeah. what the, uh, people had and what a lot of people are beginning to have is passion mm. passion and mm. compassion and see yeah. passion is when you are passionate about one thing and it's it's usually something that you feel that you are creating that you mm. would like sometimes mm. your passion is part of your imagination if you have an, a, a passionate imagination yes sir and you basically are feeling something before it happens you're you're already there you're there is if it's happening now, that mm -hmm. passionate vibration, you pushing past what you call reality, because what you're calling reality, you know, re, re, you know, reality is relative to yes, who sir. is saying yeah. it's real. Yeah. So when saying, you yeah. say that's a tree, right? Everybody agrees that that's a tree. Not everybody, because if in different languages, they call it different things. Mm -hmm. And it's really not a tree. It's a collection of energy that has come together to represent what we call a tree. Mm. Now, people say, well, the tree is growing. It's growing higher and higher. Actually, it's growing lower and lower, too, at the same time. And it's also growing out. It's doing all things at the same time. It's expressing itself. So mm. when you're totally expressing yourself by yourself, with yourself, for yourself, without somebody's validation, you become passionate. You become mm. pumped up. Nobody can tell you anything else about that. Mm -hmm. So when we get to this new movement, all we have to do is remember to put that passion back in and stop waiting for other people to be passionate with us. You see, mm -hmm. stop waiting for other people to join in line. Stop worrying about what other people got going on. This is your thing. If you're in the garage and you make an onx out of ice cream sticks, right? That's what you do. You love it. You color them different colors. It's not even about the money. It's mm -hmm. about the energy that you're putting into it. You see, once you start putting energy into something, right, the law mm -hmm. of compensation comes online. It says the, mm -hmm. the amount of energy you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. The mm -hmm. amount of energy that you give is what you get. <laughs> you see, if mm -hmm. it's in the right direction for the right reason. Now, if you're putting out a lot of energy and you're passionate about just your look, mm -hmm. how you look, what you're wearing, your hairdo, you see, now, all of a sudden, you're putting your energy into something that's not based in something that is solid. Right. It's not something that's actually moving anything but people's emotions. They're looking at, you know, I look at how many people now, you know, a lot of uh, people in on, on the Internet, they, they, it's all about their beauty. Even if they got a message, it's all about their beauty. They're half naked. They got to be because that's going to get likes. Mm. Did you know the word like? I want I want y'all to do something. Uh -oh. Here we go. I would like you to take the word <laughs> like and look up the etymology of the word like. Somebody look it up right now. The etymology, go to etymology online dictionary and put the etymology of the word like. Are you ready for this? 
Because, you know, you got to have likes today. Everybody wants to be liked. Everybody wants more likes. I need more likes. Why do we need so many likes? Who's telling you to like everything? Why do I have to like it? And what is like coming from? Where is like at in the etymology online dictionary? So let's say, I'm going to read a little bit of it. Having the same characteristics or qualities as another. Uh -huh. Lick, shortening of we lick. Old English <laughs> glinic, like or similar from the Proto-Germanic elikia. Having the same form, literally a corresponding body, with a corresponding body, okay? It keeps going and going. Then it says to go to this word, L-I-C-H. Huh, mm. what is that? Itch, lich, lich, body corpse. Huh? Southern England survival, a uh, 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 dialectical survival of old English. Lick, body, dead body, a corpse. Huh? Mm. This word... Is you keep a dead body, corpse, Norse, Danish, Swedish. This has got to do, got to do with a shape or a form, a dead shape or dead form. Huh? You would wait a minute. Like ties you into being dead or looking at something that's not moving, it's not real, it's not the real thing. You like it. So, you know, when you say, you know, how many likes you got? It's nothing. You really don't have anything but a bunch of people clicking a button, showing some heart that's not really looking like a real human heart. And why is it red? Why is the heart red? You have to figure out why is it red when that's the root chakra? Why does it look like some little buttocks on the top? It's really funny. Now, I don't want to get too deep because, it, you know, sometimes I'll go a little too far and folks, you know, they get upset because Valentine's Day, you know, <laughs> never mind. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> likes. People want likes. They want to be liked. They want energy that's not really alive to be given to them. <clears throat> you want to like it, like it. They say like, but that like button, hit that like button. I'm not telling you don't hit the like button. You can hit the like button right now. But I'm just saying everybody wants likes. Now, if I say, did you like that cake? You might say, yeah, I, I liked it. I liked it. But I say, did you enjoy it? It's a different vibration. Enjoy enjoyment joyment is something inside you that you have that cannot be given right you can't get that by likes you're not looking for outward things to give you likes because that energy is is actually dead it doesn't really move like enjoyment like passion like movement like rhythm like sound yeah i like it yeah you know yeah i think i like them then after a while, you know, you like them for a while and then you go, you fall in like a lot. You call that love when really love is something that is happening automatically. Love is life automatically, life organically vibrating effortlessly. That is my version of love. Life organically vibrating effortlessly. Love has to do with what? Enjoying being with somebody. It has to do with caring. It doesn't have to do with just because they took you out for a whole bunch of, you know, vegetarian lobster meals and, oh, you're all happy now. Oh, my God. They really like me. I'm saying that the word like may not have the I'm not saying don't use it. I'm saying it may not have the highest vibration because the word itself has a sound rhythm in it. It has a the 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 the, the, the somatic vibration. Right. Is not flying as high as you might think. And they want you to like stuff. Like, like, like. Why do they, what? It, it's, it's across the social networks, it's all about liking. What about love? And you figure when you hit that, that the heart, it says love. Well, not necessarily. Because we could just say, I love it. I love you. Let's say that. Let's use words again. Let's begin to use words instead of so many emojis to uh, uh, to emote some type of emotion. Because these emojis and things were created for us. They weren't created by us. And they give you new ones. You know, I got a new iPhone and had more emojis. You know, so they said, that was the guy was telling me, well, this one's got, you know, a lot more emojis than the last one. Emojis, is, was that, is that like emotional pictures to convey a face? And why is the face yellow? Why is it yellow? Why, why is it the color of my 
third chakra, my solar plexus. Because in your gut, your gut is supposed to do the job of digestion. Digestion, your digestive system is the filter. It filters out what is good for you, what's nutrition, and what is trash or waste. It also, on an energetic level, your solar plexus, your digestive tract, is supposed to filter out what's for you and what's not for you energetically. But a lot of times you start letting people into your solar plexus, into your soul, into your gut, into your nervous system, because everybody else is liking it. And we become part of this tribe of likability. We all like it. We like each other. We love each other. You don't really even know the people or you don't even really know what the person is saying. Some folks, you know, they, they get upset when Dr. B says, you know, it's a few things I've said lately and people are upset because they, they, they get mad. And they got to say something. They don't like it. Why? Why? He's such a such. somebody said something the other day. They said he sounds like he went to the high school where they teach Ebonics because they didn't like the way I was speaking because I wasn't speaking the proper vernacular that comes from the British people or from England. I guess I'm supposed to talk a certain way to have that voice so that you now know I'm the voice of authority. No, I'm real. And when you get real, you start going with your gut. And when you start going with your gut, you start emoting and feeling your own rhythm and not trying to talk in a way, right, that everybody else is talking, certain words, everybody's got to say it, certain emojis, everybody's got to use. When are we going to begin to authorize ourselves and become the authors of our life again? Be the copywriter of your works, of your deeds. Huh? When are we going to be the publisher of our works? When are we going to be our own distributor of our lives? Now is when we're going to do it, to now. So what time is it right now? It's elevation time. It's elevation time. And to do that, we got to get past likes and begin to love again and have passion and have compassion. And remember, if we ain't got something good to say. Don't say nothing. See, this sets a rhythm. We're talking about rhythm, the law of universal rhythm. How many times do you say certain things? How many times do you feel a certain feeling? How many times do you repeat yourself over and over about something? How many times do you agree with other people just because they happen to be loud and they happen to be strong and they happen to be famous and, or they happen to look good? So you go along with them and they're saying something that you may not go along with. But while you're listening, you're going like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You don't even agree with them, but you got to say this because everybody else will say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you get in the studio and they start playing the beat, right? Everybody's doing this in the studio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The song's got a beat. It's a hip-hop beat. Everybody's doing this thing automatically. They're programmed to do this when they hear that 808. Doom, 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 doom. Everybody's doing like this, and then you hear the lyric, and they ain't saying nothing. You like it, right? Because you you know, you're in the studio and it's your homie, so you're listening to it. Everybody else is liking it. So you like it too when it's dead. And half the music that we're listening to is killing us because the law of rhythm is that rhythm, right, has to be changing and growing. It's always expanding. Rhythm is not doing the same thing over and over. That's a beat. That's why a lot of people are beat programmers but they don't really understand the real law of rhythm because the song would have to change and grow. Your life would have to change and grow like music. You see, the law of rhythm is nothing stands still. It's like a spiral. To truly be into spirituality is to mean that you're constantly changing and growing. To be spiritual, like the golden mean. Y'all hear that thunder out there? It's thundering. Man, it's raining all of a sudden. That rain didn't happen last night. <laughs> they didn't say nothing about it on the news, did they? Well, actually, they just did all of a sudden. They just found out it was raining, so they reported to us that it's raining. So it's happening. It is totally unique that it's raining on this day at this particular time. Nature is totally spiritual. It's always changing, always growing. So once you look at those trees outside, and you realize that they got new leaves, new buds. Some of them have new flowers that are growing right now. The tree is not spending and wasting its time trying to pick up the old leaves off the ground. The branches that are dead that may still be stuck to the tree, the tree is not giving any energy to them. Because the trees, right, it's here to exist and have passion. 
It's passionately growing and expanding and expressing itself constantly. It's never doing the same thing. The, the leaves don't grow in the same place on the, on, on, on the on branches. The bark is different. The tree is the roots are bigger, stronger. It doesn't stop. Even the weeds are coming up through the sidewalk. No matter how much concrete you put down, no matter how much asphalt you put down, nature is always expanding. It will come through that. A rock with a little bit of water dripping on it year after year after year, that water will evaporate or break that rock because it's constantly expanding, constantly moving. But when you get caught up in a loop and you're thinking the same thing over and over, you keep talking the same talk, you have the same phrases. And you say, I am, and after you say I am, it's something disagreeable. When you, when you start talking about they, what they're doing, what they did, what they did to me, what they're doing to us, that's a loop. And when you get caught in that loop, you get loopy. Loopy used to mean you was a little crazy. Loopy meant that you was repeating things all over and over and over and over and over. And you weren't moving. You weren't growing. You weren't expanding. Are you ready to expand yourself? Are you ready to do something new? You have to be. Otherwise, the thing about the law of rhythm, if it doesn't expand and grow, it dies. Everything is being born and dying at the same time. It depends on the direction and the angle that you're on. Everything is rising and falling. Everything is going up and down and back and forth constantly. We have got to remember that the law of rhythm says that things are constantly growing, but everything is tied to its opposite. So even if you're angry and upset, there's love, peace, and harmony right next to it. They're right next to each other. There's only one degree of separation between up and down. There's only one degree of separation between what you call good and what you call bad. There's only one degree of separation between what you call peace and what you call war. There's only one degree of separation between everything. But you must be the person, the one who is actually growing and expanding and commanding your ship on the ocean of life. And that journey, that journey must be a journey of course correction because 90% of every journey is course correction. You can't just say, I did a meditation and a prayer and I did my singing bowl and my sound bath and I'm good. No, you better bathe in something good every day. You got to repeat this. You got to get the law of rhythm, which means you got to keep doing it. Make it bigger. Make it stronger. You can't feel that you're at the top of the mountain because then you're going to decline. There's no place to go. When you get already to the top, you're about to decline. So you have to find a new peak. And in order to find a new peak, you have to find a new valley. You see? Because everything is both. It's all happening at the same time. See, and within your within your rhythm, there also should be a melody. So if I play two beats, boom, boom, and I don't play another two beats, it's not necessarily a rhythm yet. It's not necessarily a rhythm yet. It becomes a rhythm when I play at least three. Boom, boom, boom. That's a pattern. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Three of anything begins a movement towards something. Three steps. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You got to be get, get to the point where you understand where you're going and what is your direction. And you've got to choose a direction based on where you choose to go. And not, you know, calling everybody else and asking them what they're doing. Because then you get caught up in likes. Which breaks the law of rhythm and change and growth and true spirituality. You think you're spiritual just because you're eating some certain food and you're a vegan or, or whatever, you're a breathitarian. So you figure you're, you're spiritual now and you're deep, you're, you're woke. That's just the beginning of a spiral. That's the beginning of growth. That's the beginning of love. That's the, be the beginning of passion. It's not just what you're eating and what you're wearing. You're wearing these conscious clothes and conscious jewelry. 
It looks good. It feels good to you for a little while. But guess what? After a while, you stop getting high. Because you're working on becoming the most high of yourself. The most high. This is when you get to the highest place. You see? First, you got to get to the place called genius, where you're in a ge when and genius is to know without learning. To know without learning, where you're actually creating and being totally creative in yourself and doing something for yourself, by yourself, right now, like jazz, right? Improvisation, and you're you're in the course correction, and you're always adjusting to best based on the environment that you're in. Now you begin to do something new, and you finally get to this point. But this higher point is the divine state. The divine realized state. When you get to a divinely realized state of consciousness, consciousness, they call that a siddhi. S-I-D-D-I-H-I. -I. That's Sanskrit. It's a high place. But when you get to that high place, it's not the highest place. Because you've got to turn your head up and go higher. But in order to go higher, the gravity is pulling you lower. The more you move towards success, the more failure chases you. The more light you have, the more shadow you have, too. You see, so you're constantly, what, rising and moving and expanding yourself. Always expanding. You've never won. You're never there totally. It's all about the journey. You see, it's all about the soulful science of change and metamorphosis. The soulful science of change and metamorphosis. That is what life is about. So you used to eat certain foods. You used to eat poison. It's amazing that you lived after eating this poison. It's amazing. It's a miracle. Now you found out about food, you're becoming more and more conscious or aware of what you're eating. And I'm not saying any one way of eating is the best. I'm saying whatever you're doing, you're thinking about it. You're, you're Before you, you buy it, you have a grace period. Be quiet for a minute before you choose something. Be quiet a minute before you, you know, a lot of people are talking and talking and talking, but they're not listening to listen. They're listening to react. So when you walk in the grocery store, the food, the energy of the store or the farm or wherever you are is actually talking. Are you at a place where you're really, you're really ready to listen? To hear? You've got to be quiet. And being quiet is catching the rhythm and knowing that if something is for you, it also is not for you. Th there's some healthy things that can actually kill a person. There's certain herbs. There are certain herbs. I'm not going to name them because some of your best herbs are poisons. And if you took too much of them and you don't understand what medicine means, because medicine means measurement, you could take too much of something and it could take you off the planet. Now, of course, you won't really die because there is no death. It's just a transference of energy from one place, from one thing to another. That's the law of rhythm. The law of rhythm says to be dead, you must also be alive. You see, and that's also the law of correspondence because everything is connected to its opposite. And as you do things and do things, you're going to get an energy back. If you're talking disagreeable, if you're always about what anger, and you're always talking about the victim and the wolves are after you constantly, then guess what? They are because you believe it. And to believe something is to doubt it and rub on it and have so much passion about something disagreeable that the disagreeable begins to haunt you. A lot of us are haunted by our own ideas and our own beliefs or the beliefs and ideas that our parents and friends and our community actually have given us. They're like hand-me-down clothes. They're like hand-me-downs and somebody gave them to you, so you got to wear them. Now, some of us, like when we were young, we had to have hand-me-downs. Because that was, what we, that was the only thing we had. We was in survival mode, see? When you get out of survival mode, you move into thriving. Now, all of a sudden, you can go out and begin to choose things for yourself. So your language, at a certain point, you have to choose for yourself. Your actions, you have to choose for yourself. If we get into the blame thing and that's our rhythm, then that is your universal law of rhythm is that if you'd like to blame, 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 then blame is going to blame you and you're going to blame yourself and blame the world for everything you're involved in. And you're not going to take what? 
What's the word? When you take responsibility for your state, for your mind state, when you say, I am here, then we can begin to work on that and help that and play with that and turn that into music and begin to expand it and change the song. But if all your music is a rhythm that's only two bars or four bars, if everything you hear and that you love, that you've learned to love is the same beat. You know, a lot of the music today is the same beat. It's the same rhythm over and over. They got like five rhythms now in most of the songs. And you love it because the devil gives you nothing and you like nothing after a while. You want nothing. You eat some food that has empty calories. It's toxic, but you like it. It tastes good. I like it. It's killing you. It's death. So you got to become an accountant. You got to count and you got to have rhythm and you got to move past, past two and four. Once you start counting the times you say things and do things, counting the time the commercials come around, even on your social media, there's a certain timing and a rhythm of everything. And once you begin to understand the law of rhythm, you can now change the rhythm. But if everything you're listening to is about a certain rhythm, everything that you're eating is about a rhythm. I got to eat because it's dinner time. You may not even be hungry, but your body says, I got to be hungry because it's four or five o'clock. It's dinner time. And they ring a bell and like Pablo's dog, you get, you know, you start salivating. They tell you something's on the news. Something terrible happening is happening. You start salivating. They start talking about some star or something with people that, you know, these celebrities and they did something. You heard what happened. You start salivating. Who's ringing the bell? Who's telling you to focus on that? Because that's the virus of mass distraction calling you. huh? That's the virus of mass destruction calling you. Because now you are in somebody else's business on somebody else's property. It ain't your property because you haven't developed your own land and your own garden of Eden. It's your law. You become the God of your life. You are using your God power for good or for evil. It depends on how you bang the drum. You don't have to be a drummer. You're drumming up your life. Your life is music. I'm saying we should start listening to something that is not just something that has been programmed into us. Deep into our subconscious, we're programmed to like things and to go along with things and to allow some things in our lives that really are not the best for us. So even though I say I allow all the time, you got to allow yourself to say no sometime. And then you also got to allow yourself to say yes to something better. Are you ready to do that? You have got to get into the soulful science of change and metamorphosis. The soul, the solar plexus, your gut, what you're eating, what you're saying, where your energy is coming from. Is it coming from your core? This music that you're listening to right now, this is uh, medicine music. This is from one of my medicine music collective projects. Can y'all hear it in the background? Brother Rich said he, he 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 wanted a little background music. I had some sitting here. So this music is tuned to sacred frequency 4, 432, one of the sacred frequencies. What it's doing is tuning us up. It's playing a certain rhythm that's totally different than the natural rhythm that you have heard most of your life. The natural rhythm that you've heard is not natural, natural. It's natural for you, natural for your family, natural to the agreements that you've made, and natural for this particular time, because this particular time in the mainstream, they're telling you what they're like. How are you going to tell me what they're like? I was talking to an, an old associate the other day, and he said, man, I got a new track, man, B. You're going to love this. You got the, you're going to love this. How are you going to tell me what I'm going to love? Let me hear it. You're going to judge for me because you all pumped up because you've been in the studio for the last week working on this track. As I listened to it, I said, what is this? Oh, man, this is like, you know, this is like a, this is like jazz trap music. Jazz trap? What is jazz trap? Oh, you know, it's like, you know, it's like trap music, but it's jazzy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? 
No, I don't know what you're saying. No, you know what I'm saying, man. You know, this is pumped up, man. B, tell me, man. Tell me, man. He's going to push me. Man, tell man. you know you like it. How you going to tell me what I like? I ain't even listen to it. I can't even listen to it because you're talking too much. You're trying to push it on me. So people are trying to push stuff on you. They're trying to sell you with stuff. And it's okay if you'd like to buy into it. But what about pushing yourself and being passionate about your own rhythm? The law of rhythm has to do with how many times you do things. What is your sound? What is your beat? What is your flow? What are you on? What do you get high on? What do you get low on? Somebody said the other day, they said, man, that Dr. B, man, he must be high on something. I am. I'm high on life. Back in the day, I did all the drugs. It didn't make any you know, difference. Back in, the, you know, back in the day, Everybody was on drugs. Well, I don't know everybody. It wasn't everybody, but I was on them because I was in the music business and everybody in the music business was on it. So I agree with everybody in the music business did the same thing everybody ate. Everybody ate this. Everybody ate that. Everybody listened to this music and listened to that. We was up all night doing drugs and high. And guess what? Somebody came in and told us exactly what kind of music to make. These people weren't even music makers. These music people were about controlling society. They were about population control. And the money was so good. Guess what? I agreed to go ahead and make whatever kind of music they said we was going to make because I had bills. I had a mortgage that was a rhythmic mortgage. So we begin to, 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 to uh, get in the rhythm of what we actually, what's controlling us. And sometimes we lose sight of what we are truly passionate about. What are you truly passionate about? I'm passionate about everything that I do. Well, I would say most of it. But every once in a while, I get down. I was down earlier today. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was just something happened this afternoon. I just felt like I didn't know anything. I didn't know. I was almost ready to call Brother Rich and say, Rich, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this show tonight, man. I'm just, I feel like shit. I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. I looked outside. It was all gray. I went out in the backyard and the squirrels all stopped and looked at me. And they was like looking at me with that look. Well, what the hell's wrong with you? Shit, you better get out here and get like us and get busy. I looked at the trees and the trees, everybody, the wind stopped. And then I noticed the fence in the backyard had blown down. Oh, man, the fence is going to cost big money to get that fixed. And I started thinking about all the disagreeable things and I became a victim. This was all for like maybe about a couple hours today. I was done. I said, maybe I'm just sleepy. I need to go to bed. And I went and laid down, and all of a sudden, I started having a nightmare. Then I woke up, and it was a daymare. And guess what? I realized something. That you got to go down to get up. You got to go down to get up. You got to go down to get up. You got to go through hell sometime to get to heaven. Are you ready to do that? You know how many times I've been to hell? And back, the law of rhythm says that everything is tied to its opposite. And you can use the boomerang effect huh, to slingshot yourself to another place because I'm pumped up now. Because I was so down just a little while ago that I, now I can use that same energy to get up. It's the slingshot approach. It's the way you get around the sun. You use the sun's energy to slingshot you off into space. Your solar plexus, use the slingshot effect. What we're doing right now is we're here being here at this particular time, and we all have a special mission that we're on. Are you ready to do what you really came here to do? Are you ready to be who you came here to be? Are you ready to commit and be passionate about something different and change the rhythm, change the song, change the music? Put your feet on the ground, get down, lay down. Get naked out there on the earth because right now we're going through a metamorphosis. We have not stopped evolving. We're changing. The old structures are falling. The earth, it's the, the vibration of the atoms of the planet are speeding up. We're going through a hyper quickening. This just ain't the quickening no more. It's the hyper quickening. 
We're at a place in space that we've never been before. We're at a space right out here right now that never happened till now in the present time. The present time is the now time. And see, the one thing about time is you got to turn it around backwards so it can emit. What is time doing for you? Do you have enough time? Are you creating time? What is your timing? What is your rhythm? How often do you say certain things, do certain things, break the spell? Never mind what they're doing. Never mind what they said. Never mind what they're trying to do to you to hold you down. And also, you got to be careful because a lot of these people that you're trying to drag along with you is going to keep you down. You better get up to the top of the mountain first. Maybe you can throw back a rope or throw back a life raft or a rope or something to bring them up. But a lot of times you're trying to get high, bringing down people that ain't nothing but low. Have you noticed that eagles don't hang out with pigeons? Have you noticed that eagles don't hang out with pigeons? Have you noticed that eagles don't hang out with pigeons? And if they did, imagine the eagle down pecking around on the ground like the pigeons. See, pigeons just eat man's leftovers. Stuff that man left, little pieces of this and that and popcorn and even little cigarette butts and little leavings from restaurants and fast food joints. It's when pigeons are pecking around for man's leftovers. Why would the eagle be down there? Even the pigeons are a little nervous. About what? The darn eagle down here hanging out because eagles will snatch up a pigeon and eat him. Why is the eagle hanging out with pigeons? Because he was programmed some type of way. He was born into a pigeon family. He speaks pigeon Latin. Is that a language? Pigeon Latin or is it pig Latin? Pigeon, I got a new one. Pigeon Latin. Are you speaking pigeon Latin? I don't even know what you're saying. What's he saying? What's he saying? Saying everything that the pigeons say. The pigeons feel like victims. We can't fly. Oh my God, we can't fly any higher than any buildings. The white man is doing it to us. The aliens are doing it. It's the devil. The eagle should not be hanging out with the pigeons because the eagle can fly to the highest mountains up into the clouds and soar like the hawk. You got to be ready to, sp to spread your wings and fly. It's got, it has nothing to do with how you look. It has nothing to do with how you feel. Get up off your ass. Rise up right now. Are you ready to do that? You've got to go through the metamorphosis and the change of pressure. You've got to go through change of the heat and the drama to be able to get through the rhythm that you think that you're in is going to rebound and go the other way if you just move through it. Everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. Everything is temporary, temporary, temporary. As long as you don't repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself. Wise people don't repeat themselves over and over with the same loop going round and round, living in tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Tick tock, tick tock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck 12 and the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Who's getting dickoried and who's getting docked? Because you're caught in time. You're worried about what time it is. You're worried about how old you are, how tall you are, how dark you are, how light you are, what other people got versus you and what you think that somebody else did and what they did in the past is going to happen again because now you're caught up in the loop and that loop is a feedback loop and that feedback keeps feeding back and eating you alive. Mental, physical, and spiritual parasites. Challenge is difficult. It's a change. But you got to put pressure on yourself. That's what they call the Piezo effect. Piezo electricity is when you squeeze a crystal and put pressure on it. And what? It puts out so much energy. You're a crystal. You are the dark crystal. I don't know where Brother Rich is. He just left. He just said, hey, Dr. B, and he's gone. But that's all right. So we are the medicine, but we're also the poison. We're both. Depending on our focus, depending on where you're getting your supply, don't get high off your own supply. Get out of the fast lane. Get out of what they're doing. Get out of the mainstream. Listen to something new. Go listen to some old records. Get records. Get a record player. And listen to what analog vinyl sounds like. Go put your hands in the soil 
Put your feet, dig in the soil so you can get that dirt under your nails. What happens when you get dirt under your nails? That's the nails. That's vitamin B complex, vitamin B12, especially in the soil. It comes from dirt. But you working in the garden with, with gloves on because you don't want to touch the dirt. Because the dirt is dirty, but you come from dirt. You're made of dirt. You're from the minerals. So what we have to do is get back to nature. Get as close as you can. Detoxify your body. Detoxify your mind at the same time. You could, you know, do a colon cleanse and all this stuff. People cleansing. I know some folks have been cleansing ever since I met them. Y'all know some folks like that? I'm like, man, what do you have, man? What does, what's the problem? You're always cleansing, always burning sage, trying to kill something, always doing some type of seance to get rid of the evil. But you're haunted. I was with this friend one time, and, you know, he, he left his Palo Santo stick somewhere. We was doing a gig, and he liked the loss. I kept, man, man, I can't do the gig, man. I, man, I left my Palo Santo stick. You think the Palo Santo stick is what does it? Palo Santo doesn't do anything. You are connecting with it, making it do what it does. So why don't you just imagine you have the Palo Santo. Imagine you have the crystal. crystal. Imagine you are the seasoning on your food. You don't, you don't have any seasonings, right? If you just eat the food and imagine that it's seasoned, guess what? If, you've, if you're open enough, if you're spiraling enough, if you realize the rhythm that you have and the power that you have, you can make it taste good with your mind because it's all in your mind, in your mind, in your mind. It's all happening in your mind. Dr. B, I don't believe them herbs really work. I think it's all in your mind. Well, even if it's all in my mind, the whole world is a matrix in my mind. It's a mind matrix. Yours too. But if you get too caught in reality, then you can't get to the highest point. You can't, you can't get to that place where you have divinely realized your state of consciousness within you, not based on a movement, not based on some teacher, not based on some prophet, not based on some book, based on you becoming the books. So you use the books, you use the knowledge. That is your, that's your base, that's your foundation. But then we've got to go through what we call change and metamorphosis. You've got to begin to grow. You've got to go from that caterpillar into the cocoon. In the cocoon, the caterpillar dies. It dies on the cross between the stick. And in that crystallized state, it begins to become something new. We have to get to the place where we start becoming something new. This is where we're at right now. Are you ready for this? Is this feeling right to you? If it doesn't, then it's okay. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I'm telling you what I'm doing, what I'm going through. I'm up and down, back and forth. You see, I go someplace in between genius and crazy all the time. One minute, one minute I got an incredible idea. If I don't get that idea down to the studio in the lab quickly, guess what? It might be gone. And now I'm through. I'm sitting there. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I'm riding the wave. You need to know that another wave is coming. You need to know that that pendulum, it swings one way and it swings back and forth. That pendulum keeps swinging back and forth. The pendulum just don't go one way. It goes the same amount of distance in the other direction. This is like when I first got, you know, when I, when I first became a vegan many years ago, guess what? I started eating so much starch and I was a vegetarian junk food man. I just ate, you know, I just, I was hungry because I was used to having crunchy fried things. I started frying everything. I ate so much fried stuff. I might as well have went ahead and eat some meat because I was turning the, the, the meat into acrylamide. You know, when you, I mean, the vegetables, because when you fry something too deeply, you create acrylamide. That's all, It's like a polymer. It's like a glue. Acrylamide. Especially if it's animal fat. You put animal fat, which has water in it, into some, into some, some grease. And guess what? At high temperatures, you're making a glue. A lot of people are eating acrylamide. Same stuff you put on your nails. It's amazing we could live eating what we've eaten. It's amazing we could live 
talking some of the talk we've talked. It's amazing that we could live with some of the gossip that we've had and some of the nosiness and newsiness that, we're, that we've been involved in. That's changing as of now. Are you ready to change that now? Or do you need to still eat the stuff that's in your refrigerator? That's trash. You still need to live and have the friends you got for a little while because you don't want to be out here lonely because a lot of people, the fear is the fear of being alone, the fear of missing out. I don't want to. I don't want to look like what I really look like on my 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 my, my, my profile because people gonna really see what I look like. So so you you part of a masquerade, huh? You like the masquerade, and you want to know what's going on. What's going on is you're fake, and you've become fake. And the fake thing is what's happening now: fake spirituality, fake veganism, fake vegetarianism, fake consciousness, fake wokeism. I'm not saying there isn't a real side to it. I'm saying a lot of people are just doing it because it's the thing to do. It's not in their heart. and They're not passionate about it. Life, this is what my friends do. This is, you know, we all grew up together. I don't know if I want to hang out with the people I grew up with because the people I grew up with, most of them is crazy. I was crazy too when I was with them. They, and when I get with them, they want to talk about the craziness that I was about 25, 30, 40, 50 years ago. You remember that time? I don't, why we got to talk about that every time I see you? Man, I know your real name. This is my real name. Well, you going to call me what my real name is? Well, you wasn't born as Dr. B. Serious. When I was born, I didn't have no name. It took about a week for them to give me a name. Then you going to tell me what my real name is. Shut up. Ain't none of your business anyway. Oh, you really believe in that herbal stuff? No, I don't believe in nothing. To believe in something is to doubt. To follow blindly. I create a new rhythm every day. And I focus on what I would like to achieve every day. I would like to achieve something that helps people help themselves. I'm not trying to make you. It's not what I'm doing. I'm not saying that what I know is the know of a knower. I ain't Noah. <laughs> that was good, huh? Noah to Noah to Noah. It just be flowing. I'm riffing. You know, it's jazz. I don't know what I'm fitting to say. Fitting to. My father, you say, what do you mean you fitting? What does fitting mean? You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean, son. Speak clearly so we can know exactly what you mean. He was right. Because your words are powerful. Your thoughts are powerful. Passion is love. When you really are passionate about something, that creates love. The question is, is what are you making love out of? What are the ingredients for love? So tomorrow night, you know, I'm doing this free webcast. Go to elevationtime.com, elevationtime.com, elevationtime.com. Somebody put it in the chat. Elevationtime.com. Go to events. And you'll see that I'm doing a free webcast tomorrow night or tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be talking about herbs. I'll be talking about healing and medicine music. We're just strictly going to talk about that stuff because that's a lot of times I, I get on this one angle and I don't hit the other one. So I'm going to use that law of rhythm and go into the herbal side, go into the natural side, what certain herbs do, what certain products do. Because a lot of folks go to my website and they say, well, Dr. B, you didn't explain what this stuff does. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow night and that's free. But on Saturday, we're doing part three of the Soulful Science of Change and Metamorphosis workshop class. That's with my good friend, Dr. Madi Brown. What we talk about in this class, we're teaching people to remember our birthright. You know, you have a birthright. There's certain things that you're supposed to get when you get here, but you got to break the spell of the parents in the community, in the programming of school, in the government context, in the matrix and all that. You got to be able to break that spell and create something new. So remembering your birthright is something a lot of people didn't know about. You've got to learn to restore balance, homeostasis in your life. This is what the law of rhythm is, because even though this, the pendulum goes all the way left and it swings all the way right, it's one point where it's right in the gap, where it's totally balanced. In between, up and down, left and right, there's a place in the middle. The yin and the yang, they have a line down the middle. That line is called the seam. It's not black, it's not white, it's gray. It's a gray area. That's balance. That's homeostasis. That's the symbol of the Jesus the Christ guy walking on the water with his hands out. And Buddha sitting under the Bodhi tree. 
uh, uh, what's his name? Muhammad. They, see, a lot of these leaders, or a lot of these are not leaders, but these prophets, they're symbolic. Being in balance. Finding homeostasis. Most of the products that I have are, are, are what they call tonics or adaptogens. They're herbal products that adapt to your product, to your body. They, they don't force anything to happen. They don't make anything happen. These things are things that are possibilities that can help you balance your body. And sometimes if you're too, if you're too toxic, too, too alkaline, you got to become a little acidic. Did you know as did you know that that uh alkalinity can take you out quicker than acidity? Did you know that? How many people knew that? pH is potential hydrogen. Did you know that you could take certain things? In fact, a lot of times when you get high, that's that's something that has high amounts of alkaloids, which brings on the DMT estate. A, a, a mind so that's it the dmt estate i like that the dmt estate wow somebody write that down the dmt estate but the mind state of dmt is when you're starting to get high you're starting to leave your body and have another experience or leave the prison or the mindset that you've been in we keep hearing about alkalinity alkaline you can go too far alkaline you've got to find balance that's true that a lot of the foods that we eat are acidic but your stomach is acid. Anything you put in your stomach becomes acid. It has to. The hydrochloric acid in your stomach is one of the most abrasive and destructive things there is. It's got to become acidic for a minute. Then it goes to the small intestine where things that some, something like a, a, a baking soda comes online to actually turn it alkaline. But if you're angry all the time, your blood is too acidic. If you're upset, if you're feeling like a victim, now all of a sudden you're at a state where your blood is burning up, it's hot, and you're in inflammation mode because you're looking for a problem. Because your reticular activating system says look for more of what you're focusing on. If you're looking more for problems in the, in the news, you're going to find problems. If you look more for more love, you're going to find more love. If you look for more peace, you're going to create more peace. But it's your mindset that's choosing what you're eating. And sometimes you're eating more acidic food because you got an acidic personality and you was an asshole. Oops, did I say that? Can you say that on the radio? Is this the radio? No, this is the internet. I guess I can say things. Brother Rich be cussing sometimes. <laughs> Brother Rich, where you at? But on Saturday, part three of the Soulful Science of Change and Metamorphosis, class three. I'm here, Dr. B. I'm here. Okay. So that's this Saturday. This has been a three-part series, and there is a part one, there's a part two, and guess what? At the end of this, everybody that took all three of these classes will get a rebirth certificate because you will have the tools to rebirth your life. When you start realizing that a lot of what you're saying is a prediction, did you know a lot of what you're saying and thinking you're predicting? Now, the question is, are you predicting the best outcome or are you predicting the worst? Uh, uh, is your language a self-fulfilling prophecy? And if you feel just because you're down and out and you're depressed, you're going to be that way. And that's just how it is. Instead of realizing that you're on a pendulum swing and you're about to go into genius mode. So Saturday, this Saturday, the class starts at, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to elevationtime.com. Look for the soulful science of metamorphosis of change and metamorphosis class with Dr. B. Serious and Dr. Madi Brown. And that Dr. Madi Brown is on one, y'all. He is like, that dude ain't from here. You look at him, you know he's from somewhere else, for real. It is no joke that he landed in a little ship. He almost took me there once. And I said, no, I don't need to go right now. <laughs> but we're at this time where we've got to go through this change in metamorphosis. So we're giving you the steps of how to grow and how to change. So that's on Saturday, this Saturday at uh, 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 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's part three of the soulful change and the, the, the soulful science of change and metamorphosis class three. Brother Rich, there you are. How you doing, Disappear, reappear. No, nah, I mean, I was absorbing. I was relaxing, chilling in the background, just listening to you, listening to you talk, man. I, when you go off, you go off, Doc, and I don't want to interrupt you. 
Uh, you be in that flow. You be in that zone, man. If somebody stop you, you might cast a spell on them or something like that, man. They so I don't cast a spell on themselves. <laughs> oh man. Hey Doc, you know what I want to do? I want to take a couple of um a couple of live calls tonight. Would you sure. be down? Be down before we get out of here. Sure. Let's take a couple of live calls, family. So what I want to do now is take a couple of calls before we get out of here. Uh. So let me put the link in the chat. And hey, my phone went ringing off the hook. Folks is telling me, Doc, slow down. Say that again, Doc. You know, I got a lot of folks be sending me messages. <laughs> this is deep. All right, family, if you would like to ask Dr. B a question, we're going to be on here for about 20 more minutes. Uh, if you would like to ask Dr. B a question, one question, you ain't going to be on here for 10 minutes, but if you like to ask the brother one question or make one comment, you're more than likely to click on that link I just shared in the chat. So for anybody who wants to, uh, let me see what y'all talking about. Yeah. If anybody who wants to, uh, ask a question, a live question, I remember Dr. B, he did like, see, he was giving us like therapy. Uh, last year, man, he was taking live calls, and he was, man, this dude is is good with that, man. So, let's get to this first uh, caller. Lene, am I saying your ra name right? Lene Harris, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. How you doing, Lene? What's your question for Doctor B, sis? Um, so I had that problem with Doctor B. Your I'm reception is a little off. bad. Is there any can way? Can you hear you me now? You sound better, sis. Go ahead. Okay. So I've been following Dr. B um, all this week. Um, his information has truly been encouraging, um, fulfilling. Um, I'm at a point in my life, I don't really eat a lot of meat anymore. I was alkaline, but I stopped um, because it just wasn't for me. Uh, my main focus is more trying to get out of my mind and be more in my body. So that's my goal at this time. So do you have a question? Um, yes. So I was wondering, um, so where I'm at in my life, I'm trying to continue to stay positive and I'm just trying to figure out what I need to continue to do to keep myself grounded. What does positive mean? Mm, honestly, I don't know. So we've got to be careful for, you know, of using certain words that we're not sure what they mean. Positive mm -hmm. means posing and stuck. It's like a spark, opposing spark. It, it doesn't mean necessarily good. Even though we've all agreed that positive means good and negative means bad, negative means no gates, no gative. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the negative side of the electrical circuit is what makes, makes the atoms. So why don't we not use the word positive? Let's ask the question what you would like. What would you like? What is the result that you would like? Um, I would say as far as the result, um, just continue to know who I am, not going off of trying to be positive, but continue to figure out who I am as a person. I'm glad you said that because, you know, sometimes you got to go negative. <laughs> mm -hmm. gotta, this is the law <laughs> of rhythm. You got to use it all. Y you see, but. What we're looking for from you is where would you like to be? What is the destination? So imagine you're on a journey. Mm -hmm. Give me one or two or three things that you would like to, where would you like to be? What would you like to feel? Where would you like to end up? Mentally free, um, grounded, and being more happy with thyself. Are you grounded right now? No. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. And blow it out through your mouth like you're whistling. Imagine your feet are on the ground. And the soles of your feet are sending energy down into the earth. Imagine there's roots on the soles of your feet. And your feet are connecting you into the core of Big Mama, the Great Mother. 
And imagine Father Sky is coming down, shining on the top of your head. And as you breathe deeply, imagine that the energy from above and the energy from below are meeting in your solar plexus. Feel it now. Imagine there's an energy stirring deep inside you. Do you feel this energy deep inside you? Yes, I do. Now smile. Just smile. <laughs> Just smile. Smile. Bigger, 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 bigger. <laughs> now on the count of three, you're going to yell. Move away from the mic because you're going to yell really loud and let all the old energy go. You're going to yell. Let go. Since you're on the, on the, the show. Let's let go and let everybody else let go too. Are you ready? One, two, three. Scream. <laughs> that wasn't a big scream. Was that a halfway scream? It's, it's a reception. The, um, something oh. with the mic. Let's it's scream one more time. Everybody scream. Come on. One, two, three. Scream. <laughs> now, <laughs> clap your hands. And celebrate. Now, how do you feel? I feel much better. Now, every time you're ready to tap back into this, just clap mm -hmm. your hands. And it'll bring on this state. We just created a mind state. And we just did what's called a mind map. It's based on your imagination. Okay. Hey, Lene, let me ask you a question real quick. It doesn't have to be a long answer. Just yeah. real quick. I'm just curious. Okay. Are you engaging in something right now that you know you know you need to stop, but you you, you haven't stopped yet? Yes. Do you mind saying what it is? Overeating with my emotions of past trauma. Over okay. So you so you get to a point where you've eaten and your body says I've had enough and you keep eating. Yeah, I do. It's making me emotional talking about this, but yeah. Okay. When did you eat last? Um, about eight o'clock. And did you overeat at eight o'clock? Yeah, I did because I had something for lunch as well. Okay. Was that you that ate earlier? <clears throat> yes. So, really quickly, that's not mm -hmm. you. Whenever you talk about your old self, say she. Mm -hmm. She. Okay. She overate. If you say I or me, mm -hmm. it brings it into the present space and you can't break the spell. So one thing that everybody can learn really quickly is when you talk about your old self, anything before right now, say he or she or say in the past. And that takes the energy off of you. So now you're not blaming yourself. She overeats. So in the class, we show you how to recognize who you are because it's about finding out who you really are and not the, 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 what the egregor you, you know, that's like a ghost or something that's taken over you. That's not you. That's just an effect and a symptom of what you've been through. And you're becoming greatness right now, just by you calling in right now, Lene. Your energy yeah, is rising in you. Everybody here is going through the same thing you're going through together as a family, as one. You and are I, the godness. You are tapped into the godness in you, and it's already been there. You've been three feet from gold. Never bring the old you into the now you. You okay? Yes, I am. I add that to my journal tonight. I really appreciate y'all both, and thank you for doing everything y'all can for us. And thank remember you, to clap. You. Celebrate. Thank, thank you for calling, Lene. Thank you. All right. Peace, sis. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too. You too. Have a good night. Peace. All right. We're going to, um, like I said, we're not going to be here too long. That was real good. I'm, I'm real glad we did that. That was real good. Um, let's get to the next caller real quick. Uh, in the God Ether, are you there? Quick, put a light on you, Oh, Fast shoot. Light. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, peace. All right. What's your okay, question, God. my brother? I've been on here a couple times before, but I just want to ask Dr. Be Serious. What's your thoughts on the um, connection between fungi, plants, and crystals? 
and how they all synergistically synergistically uh communicate to basically keep a uh, balance in nature you know what i mean uh first of all um the mycelium network which we call mushrooms that's what the soil is that's the soil the soil is a combination right. of living organic matter which is the mushrooms the mycelium and they be the, the, the uh what we call the uh humus or plants that are dematerializing or breaking back down uh uh and also crystals mm -hmm. the earth is made of crystals it's made of these crystals and metals are actually beings yeah Meta they're living beings mm -hmm. what you have to be careful of is that you are not from the crystal world this is for you personally mm -hmm. You're from a whole nother place called the noble gases. Mm. You're noble. You have a nobility vibration. Mm. Okay. I'm going to prove it to you. You ready for something? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to say, I'm at my highest vibration. I'm at my highest vibration. Now take the crystals off your head. Take your crown off for one second. <laughs> and say I am at my highest vibration. I am at my highest vibration. Put it back on. <sighs> and say I I am at my highest vibration. I am at my highest vibration. <clears throat> now take it off again. Say I am at my highest vibration. I am at my highest vibration. Something happens. You hear the difference? Yeah. Because the crystals that you're wearing as a crown, right? They're in a different uh, arrangement. So, and it's changing the way the energy is flowing from your hair. Your nine ether hair is picking up information from the galaxy because the natural hair coil, huh? mm -hmm. the nine ether natural hair coil that's, that's picking up what micro vibrations from the environment can easily be blocked. So we have to be careful from putting crystals on our head because the information may come and hit the crystals and you may not get all of it. Mm. So you have to be very careful when you're going to wear certain crystals and things, especially on your head, mm -hmm. because your head is already higher than the crystals you're wearing. That's mm. why your, your head grows out, right? And it's, 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 it's reaching out into the highness. Our hair, when we leave it alone, let it be natural. It's reaching up. Mm -hmm. That is the high vibration. Did you know that people who do remote viewing, you've heard of remote viewing, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. They can't read anybody with an afro, a locks, or their natural hair in a coil. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. They can read, they can see your body, but they mm -hmm. can't see your face if your hair is in its natural vibration. That's why the government says, well, so, you know, you need to get the people to straighten their hair, get some dark and lovely and, you know, do this to it and get the natural coil out of it. Because that natural coil is tapping you into the natural coil and the vibration and the orchestra of the universe and the omniverse, which is flowing through you. So make sure that your crystals huh, are taken off at certain times and you realize that you are the crystal. We don't yeah, necessarily facts. need the crown. You are the crown. Facts. You are the crown heights. Ain't that a place? Right. Crown Heights? Mm -hmm. In New York? Brooklyn, yeah, New, New York. York. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Hey, brother. Thanks for calling in, brother. I appreciate y'all, too. Peace, peace. Yes, sir. All right, peace. That was another powerful one, Dr. B. Two got for two. One. You got another one? Two. You know, I used to do this all day long, so I kind of yeah, in, yeah. in exercise and rhythm for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's um get to the next one. Varanda. Yeah, let's uh Varanda, are you there? We we moving fast today, my brother. All right, he's out of here. All right, uh Naya or Nia. Yeah, let's uh Varanda, are you there? We, we moving fast today, my brother. All right, uh Naya or Nia. Peace. Peace. Hello, hello. Yes. Let me turn this down. Please. How you guys doing? Hey, how you doing, sis? Phenomenal. All right. Okay, great. Um, my question is 
do you can you just share some thoughts about um spiral quality and entrepreneurship and those things combining okay the best businesses are doing it for a certain reason your why is very important so when you have your business or your idea or your name that's what what it is the next thing that's going to give it fuel is your why your why is the reason that you do it that can help other people. So if you say, I'm just doing this to make a lot of money, and that's okay if that's what you're doing. But if you're doing it and you're do your why is about helping other people, that means that your energy is spiraling out to the community. You're offering the community something that they can use, something that they need, something that you see that's, a, that's, not miss that's missing in the community. So the best, strongest, most balanced businesses are always doing something for a big why. And that why is constantly changing and growing. If your business is not changing and growing, then it's a business, but if it's a busyness, right? You're doing a whole lot, but you may not be taking it to the highest level. Our business elevation is uh, 20, 21, 22 years old now. We have no business plan. We've never had one. We have no idea what's going to happen this week. We don't know. People say, well, well, what's your business plan? We don't have no business plan. Well, you know, we can get one written for five grand. We don't spend five grand. We are flowing with this thing. It's on a flow. It's like jazz music. But you've got to constantly be changing your course. We're going to be putting together a, 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 a metaphysical business entrepreneurship class soon. To show folks how to level up, take it to another level without the natural, what they call the, the natural laws of business. We're going to use the supernatural laws of business. How to increase and how to draw in anything you desire. First, you got to know what you desire. But your why is really important. So are you an entrepreneur now? Yes, I'm a photographer. I'm freelancing, why? trying to, trying to elevate into the entrepreneurship level you're trying i am what does try mean trying try trying um how i said it means that i am i am working to phase phase out of freelancing and become a full-time entrepreneur are you a full-time entrepreneur now Yes. Then why would you be trying to be one? Can you mm -hmm. imagine yourself doing what you love full time and being passionate about it? Definitely. Can you imagine yourself in the law of rhythm every single day you're pushing forward, no matter whether it's good, whether it's raining or not? You know, I've heard some photographers say that they can take some of the best pictures outside when it's cloudy or in the morning or in the evening when the sun is not as bright. So that means that when it's cloudy, right? There's something about the camera, something about the photographer, something about the person or the thing that you're taking a picture of that actually glows brighter. It gets to have more inner light. Take your inner light and let your light be where you desire to be. Don't wait for light to shine on you. You're already an entrepreneur. How could you not be? If you've had one client outside of your everyday business and it's a it's a it's a client that you you know just met somewhere, have you had clients like that? Yeah, I actually just left a shoot. I actually just left a shoot. So don't ever come on the show lying. We gotta stop lying. We lie. We were taught to lie. We lie on ourselves, we tell the lie, and we we you know feels like things gotta be big, and we keep talking about my little business and small this. If you're doing it, you're doing it, it's happening right now. Your imagination is powerful. Stop shutting yourself down. Stop limiting yourself. Stop having lack in your mind about how you're, you're, you're at a certain point. And you need to be bigger. You need to be bigger now. You're as big as you could be. Your light is showing even in the darkness right there, right now. Your name is Naya, which means light. Is that your name? Yeah. But you're both. You're up and down. You're high and low. You have it all in you. Naya Falls. That's a really powerful name. People will hire you based on your name. Naya Falls. Yeah, you know Naya Falls. She sounds famous. She's a famous photographer. Her pictures are amazing. Oh, my gosh. She's freelance. Let's call her. 
but you got to call yourself. If you don't call yourself, what they going to call you for? Your why. Why are you doing it? That's the last question. We're going to let you go. Why? Thank you. Why? Why Why am I doing it? To, to build a network in my community of professionals and help Which, us all be able to help each other. How many people in your community now? I'm not sure. Not, no, I'm not sure. Is there one other person that you could name that is partially down with what you're at, what you're, what you're on? Yes. Do you have a network? You got to work that mm -hmm. net. Do you, right. do you hear what I'm saying? It is right. a network. All you need is and when you get three, if two or more are focused on the same energy, the third energy shows up. <laughs> It's a magnetism thing. Now, can I ask you a question real quick? Yes, sir. Do you think you're somewhat delusional? No. I, I will tell you this. Every word has a, every word, there's polarity in everything. So just like Dr. B said, don't think negative is a bad word. I don't want you to think the word delusional is a bad word. You know how I got here now, where I'm at today? By being delusional. But in a good sense of being delusional. By believing what I thought in my mind was actually greater than what I seen with my eyes. That's some powerful shit to do. Because your eyes are telling you one thing. The sensations in your body may even tell you you're sick. It may tell you you're tired. But the man with will, the woman with a certain will, that shit overrides that programming in our body. And the programming is forced to change. Delusion is a is a powerful force to tap into, but in a positive sense, in the sense that where it benefits you. So I want you to go get a little delusional in your life, in a good sense, and uh, call us back, hit us back when you tap into that delusion. Because Dr. B said you already are an entrepreneur. The first thing your ego probably told you is, I ain't no motherfucking entrepreneur. It's probably the first thing. That's what happens with 99.9% .9 of the people who are told there's something that they don't see yet with their eyes. So get a little delusional, and I look forward to talking to you again, Naya, all right? And one more thing. One question. Do you have do you have any tips on it? Because I I want to be able to tap into more like more pot more good delusion. What kind of music you like? I like I like older music. I like RB. Put on some headphones, go for a walk. And imagine your life exactly how you want it to be. Ignore whoever's around you. They may think you look, you know how you know when you're doing it right? When somebody starts looking at you like you're crazy. Because you may start bopping you. Rhythm. Your rhythm is going to change. You know you're tapping into the force when your rhythm, your rhythm has to change when you're tapping into the force. If you're walking straight like this, you're not tapped in. But if you start to, if you start to, have, you ever see, well, I live in New York. I used to see people on the train. I'd just be like, wow, they're so free. They don't care who's staring at them. And they used to just be vibing on the train. I need you to go outside and be like that. Don't care who's looking at you. But vibing, be a del little delusional, and tap into your imagination. And here's yes. two things. Yeah. Go listen to the song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. <clears throat> okay. Song from the 70s. Listen to this Beautiful. song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Ain't No okay. Valley Low Enough. This is a song about the law of rhythm. In the yeah. law of correspondence in a song, because a lot of those songs, they was dropping the science in them songs. And here's another thing. What I'm looking for in you is passion. Mm. I'm not quite feeling enough passion. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to, uh, how can I do this now? Go to my website, elevationtime.com, and go sign up on the email list. And when you sign up on the email list, it says you can put a note in there. In the note, say, I am Naya Falls from the show last night, and I'm going to send you a bottle of a product called Passion. Ooh. What Passion does is it opens up your heart. It, mm -hmm. it connects your heart, your gut, and your brain, and it balances you, and it turns you on and makes you get into the place where you're creating the orgasmic life every single day. 
It's an aphrodisiac. People say, oh, my God, it's going to make me feel sexy. Well, this is everybody, right, who is really successful is feeling sexy about things. Mm. That's how you recreate. That's all nature's doing. What, what, what is nature doing? They're doing nothing but eating, drinking, and being sexy or having sex or reconnecting or intersecting. So we're going to send you a bottle on us at Elevation. So you're gonna you're gonna go to elevationtime.com, go to the email list. Don't nobody else try to fake this now because I'm gonna know who it really is. <laughs> and we're gonna send you a bottle of passion. Passion is an amazing product, and it has this uh this flower in it, this um butterfly pea. Butterfly pea, this it has a very special, almost like purple color. It changes the vibration of your entire system. It causes you to wake up and be pumped up about things. It causes you to get past what other people are thinking and doing. And you're so pumped up and passionate about what you're doing, you don't worry about anybody else's business. The product is called Passion at ElevationTime.com. I will I be sure to do that. I appreciate that. Naya, so I love that that smile on your face. You didn't have that when you first called in. Your rhythm changed. Congratulations. <laughs> your rhythm changed, man. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling in, Naya. Thank right. you. All right. Thank you. All right, peace. All Let's right, take family. another one. This is yeah, fun. We only, yeah, we're having a good time, family. We only having a good time. Yeah, for anybody, I know a lot of people want me to post the um calling number. We're not taking whoever's in the back. I'm just going to take a couple of more from whoever's in the back, but I'm not posting it. I'm not taking that many calls tonight. I didn't even know I was going to, you know, just improvise. And I didn't even know I was going to do a live call. And just, you know, after Dr. B stopped, stopped talking um after the hour mark, I was just like, you know, let me take a few live calls. But we're not going to be in here too long. So um, thanks for everybody who did call in. I apologize about that. I, I'm gonna do. We'll do a longer show show in the future with live call call ins because I see how beneficial this is with Doctor B. Doctor B's real good at this right here. He's well, really it's helping everybody because most people are having the same issues and challenges. Oh yeah. So when when we assist one person in crossing over the threshold, <clears> everybody <throat> who's had that same mind state begins to cross into that threshold too. It's about having oh, yeah. passion. Indeed, indeed. Let's get to the next call. Um, go, my brother. Hey, Rue Dre. Hey, yo, hey, Rue. What's good? What up, though? Hey, man. How y'all doing you? this evening? Hey, we chilling, man. What's on your mind tonight, my brother? So I have a question for Dr. B. Oh, it was good seeing you too at the uh party. Yes, yes. Um, if this one thing that are the all the teachers that you have. What was one of the one of the things that made you like find your calling to be who you are today? When I was about to check out. When they told me I didn't have much time to live. Making crazy money, getting paid eighty thousand dollars to do one song in the studio. I was rolling. I had the cars, I had the house, I had it all. But I realized at some point that I was being controlled by the hidden hands and I was like a puppet and I was actually taking the sheep to slaughter because I could go to any neighborhood and anywhere and help folks get the record deal but the record deal was sometimes was you're shaking the hand with the devil itself so after doing this and seeing it and peeping into that industry really deeply and becoming really successful something inside my own self created illness in me I had to go all the way down to the point where they said I wasn't going to be here. And that's what shifted me when I realized, first of all, I got to leave this. The food, the, the friendships, these, these what they call, you know, transactional friendships and relations. Oh, we love you, doc. You don't love me. You love me only because you're making crazy money off me. And I realized I was for every penny I got, they was getting 99 cents. There's a problem here. Mm -hmm. See, So it took me basically dying. I had to let the old me die. He had to die on the cross. But at some point I had to realize I was at the crossroads and get off the cross and leave it all go. Let it all go. Friends, relations. I didn't care what anybody said because I was ill. I had made myself sick. I was allergic and inflamed of my own self. I was on fire. I was crashing. It took that. <clears throat> And that's what caused me to begin to walk a new walk and to talk a new talk and to, be, and to realize that I had something else to do. I had done that and it was time for me to do something else. So sometimes it's the worst situation. 
And then I've had, you know, three near death experiences in my life. I don't know how close I was to death. People say that. Well, I was near death. Well, how close was you? I don't know. Maybe 10 feet. 10 feet from death. That's a book. 10 feet from death. <laughs> That's a good book, ain't it? 10 feet from death. You don't know who you are until you're 10 feet from death. <laughs> but it took all of those experiences. It took having my life threatened for me to wake up and, and choose to live. And when they tell you that you don't have much time, guess what? You start creating time. Mm -hmm. So it was me going all the way down to get up. It's a bar. And now I'm living life like it's golden every single day. Because we don't know how much time we got. So hey, just I, admit. Hey, I feel you on that. I feel I know exactly what you mean by that. I know exactly what you mean by that. Because that's how I feel right now. Like... I'm like, I'm probably at the most happiest, most joyful I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah, that's good. Man, that's good. I feel good every day. Even when I ain't feeling good, I'm still feeling good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, uh, you been taking that platinum? You taking some, some of my platinum? I need to. I was going to ask you about something, but Rich said he only wanted me to ask one question. Go, go ahead, Rue. You, 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 you're a vet. Or you're a live caller vet. Go ahead, brother. Ask so, a question. What is so you sell a lot of products? I've been on your website a few times. What is like the best thing to uh get out? Um, like lead, I want to say it's lead in the body. Um, I'm I don't think I'm using the right word, like yes. uh, um, like detoxing, like out of all the poisons. You want metals, metals, you mean heavy like, metals. metals? There we go, metals. Yeah, metals. There's, there's metals. somewhere along the line, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, did you have did you have uh, fillings in your teeth? Yeah, I do. The amalgamums, the gray ones, or the silver ones? The gray ones, you still have them? That's a good question. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I still do. You're not sure what's one. happening with your teeth? You still got one, brother Rich? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you definitely need to call me at a high noon, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me in the corral at high noon. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a showdown. So listen, humic acid, which comes from the earth, is one of the most powerful heavy metal uh leachers on the place. It's not really a leecher. What it does is it wraps up around have, see heavy metals are like little sharp pieces of shards of metals caught into your body, and it's hard to get them out. Mm -hmm. So what happens is if you take the right type of humic acid, it wraps around the heavy metals and yeah. makes them smooth so the body can move it out of the tissue. Humic acid. Humic acid. So we have the product platinum. We originally made it to help eradicate heavy metals in the body. It has humic acid, oxyhumic, oxy uh, fulvic acid. It has many of these what we call a uh, 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 um, M state elements. So it's got uh, gold, iridium, mm. palladium, platinum, silver, and copper all in the high spin state. So a lot of people, you know, they take gold and gold water and all that, and that's great. But yeah. gold has a partner. Gold's partner is palladium. Palladium's partner is platinum. Platinum's partner is iridium. And one thing that the mercury in your body is doing is making your timing off. Mm -hmm. Your rhythm is off. You ever notice that you, you got there just too a little too early or not? Your timing is just off a little bit. Yeah. It's because of the, the mercury in your body is causing your time to be off. Because in your head, there's something called magnetite, which is your direction finder. That's like what makes your internal compass. And if you have too many heavy metals, it interrupts the way the magnetite what connects to because that's your inner GPS. So these heavy metals are causing you to be off time, and they're in everything. They're in the air. You can't get away from them. Mm -hmm. You know whether the chem trails or not. I mean, it's just heavy metals are here. But it's about taking certain substances that get you to the point where you can begin to wrap those heavy metals up and replace those heavy metals with M state elements. Monoatomic gold, monoatomic platinum, monoatomic iridium, monoatomic. Monoatomic is a whole special subject. I did years and years of study on this. And we created a product called Platinum, Platinum Life Elixir. Mm -hmm. Platinum Life Elixir changes your rhythm. It changes your focus. And let me tell you another thing it does is it tunes up your pineal gland. Oh, okay. It causes your body, your the, the fluid in your spine, right? 
that cerebral spinal fluid, it begins to move up. The kundalini moves it up from your root and puts pressure on your pineal. When you put pressure on your pineal, all of a sudden it glows. You would even say it glows. They talking about the pineal and the whole Christmas thing. We talked about that in God Power One. So right. the platinum helps you put pressure on your pineal so your pineal can glow. So now you're more connected to your environment and the cosmic antenna comes online. So you got to get rid of heavy metals, but you also have to clean up your telomeres. Mm -hmm. Telomeres are the antennas on the ends of your genes, which are like telephone antennas. Remember they used to have an old school telephone they had the antenna on it? Telomeres are like antennas on the ends of your genes that are picking up information from the environment. When you're under stress, you're eating certain foods, foods that stress us, the news stresses us, the blue light from the phone, all the social media, the disagreeable, disagreeable, those telomeres begin to break off. So a telos has to do with your direction in life. Where are you going? What is your goal? That's your telos. Your telomeres help to push you towards your goal, but if your body is rusting from the stress, from the toxins, from the environment, from the nervous system, then the telomeres begin to break off and your body says, look, he don't need to be here that long. So you begin to age really quickly. Everything is cool till you get about 40, 50. Then all of a sudden it goes downhill because the body says he's not doing everything he can and he's got still got these silver fillings in his teeth for some reason. We know they're toxic. We know this is poison. When they come take those fillings out your teeth, they're going to come in a suit, look like E.T. Oh. And they're going to bring a little jar. They got a jar that has the, you know, uh, 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 what's the symbol that should, tells you something is radiation? Hazard. The hazard. The hazard. Um, they come in a hazmat suit. Yeah. Even they footies, they got footies on. They don't want to touch it. They don't want, they're breathing real careful because that mercury is one of the most toxic things in the world besides fluoride. Fluoride is probably the most toxic thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. Why it's in your toothpaste and why you brushing your teeth with it, I, I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Why it's in our water, That's you better talk to your city. But basically, brother, what we're going to do is you go to elevationtime.com. We met, you were supposed to call me anyway. Go to elevationtime.com. Go to the email list. Make sure you're on the email list. Or just email me, put your name in, and I'll send you a bottle of platinum. It's on me. Ooh. Oh, man. Dr. B, generous yeah. today. today. I'm man. always Dr. generous. Man, uh, Dr. B, you, this Dr. brother. B, listen, Dr. B don't know how much he did for me. I already told him that, but I'm going to tell him again. <laughs> you did a lot for me. Hey, Yo. man, we do, I'm doing a lot for everybody because the more you do for others, the more you receive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the law of, 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 of reciprocity. You got to give, 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 but don't give to the point where you're leaking. Uh -huh. See, a lot of people, they give more than they receive. Mm -hmm. Everything I give, whether it's lectures, workshops, is only 10%. Even on this show tonight, this is only 10% of me. This is 10% because the 90% is for me. You got to take care of yourself first. You got to be a little selfish or self-caring so that you, your 10% is extremely powerful. My 10% is potent. Why? Because I'm building up, building up, building up my battery. I used to give it all away. I feel like I had to help everybody. Everybody needs me. Now they call me, Dr. B, come to a party. No, I'm not going to no party. The only thing I went to lately was Brother Rich asked me to come out because I've got to work on Dr. B because I've been through hell too. My life story is deep. What I've been through, what I've dealt with, that's why I know what I know and can talk about the way things I do. Did I say that right? Because of the experiences I've had. I'm not perfect. I got issues too. But the more you give, the more you receive. But only make it 10%. Make that 10% potent. Mm -hmm. And stop giving advice about things that you may not have experienced. Just shut up. Yeah. So, brothers, you got all kind of lights above your head, man. I don't know what that auric field is around you. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know what you got. This is like That's my, fine. My That's fine. I like that. that. Yeah, bro, you on some whole other cosmic stuff. So you make sure you get this platinum and let me know and do send me a little testimony on how you like it. Indeed. Elevationtime.com. That's where you go. And we're doing a special sale uh this weekend on a lot of the products like the Parasite Cleanse program. So the people that come to the free webcast tomorrow night, we're gonna mm -hmm. do all kinds of special things tomorrow Not night. Tomorrow. It's Saturday, right? No, 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 no. Tomorrow night we're doing a free. Oh. 
webcast at elevationtime.com. Go to the event <laughs> section and you'll see, you know, Dr. B's free webcast tomorrow night. That's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm just going to talk about health and herbs and medicine and music. On Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is the class. Part three of the class, The Soulful Science of Change and Metamorphosis. And brother, you better be there. Because oh. there's, there's something in this class for everybody. Yeah. If you could just listen, even the, the brother, and this brother, Mahdi, his cadence and the way he drops this, because he's a scientist. He'd been to, you know, when I met Brother Mahdi, he was working in Beverly Hills at a birthing clinic where they make babies. Mm -hmm. He was at a place where they make babies. And he told me something. He said they collect the eggs from black women. They give them $50,000 for a certain amount of eggs. It might even be one egg. I don't even know. And they take that egg and they put it with the sperm of somebody else and they do this whole thing and they make designer children. This is when I met the brother. He's a scientist. Then he worked at another place where they make chicken. They design chickens. So he's he was he's always been a scientist. But now, you know, what he does now is he's, he's just on a whole nother level. And, you know, Saturday, you'll see. He gives out such great information. And there's part, there's three parts to this program, this, this class. So part one and two are up there as replays. Mm -hmm. And if you take part one and part two and part three, you'll actually get a rebirth certificate. You'll have taken this course and you'll have all the pieces that you need to create love, harmony, and peace and be successful in all areas of your life. Guaranteed. But you must show up. That's right. Hey, hey, Ruth, right. thanks for calling in, my brother. All right, y'all have a good night. Are right, you too, See brother? See you soon. I'm looking, I'm looking for your email, brother. I'm about to email you right now. I'm on your website. Beautiful. All right. All Travel right. All right, peace. Uh, hold up. Well, let's, uh -oh. let's Karen, are you there, Karen? Yeah. Yes, I'm here. All right, yeah, I was just about to hang up, Karen. What's going on? What's on your mind, sister? You have a question? Yes, I do. I am... I have a desire to be a full-time teacher, but I am presently working a full-time job for the government. So I just can't, you know, exit my job without, you know, income. And also I am a entrepreneur. I design tote bags. So I'm trying to, I'm not trying, but I'm transitioning to um, my desire, which is to be the full-time teacher. But I guess I need some guidance on how to actually step out of where I am to become the full-time teacher. What, what would you like to teach? What do you teach? Um, just basic studies, elementary school. So what's... One plus one. Two. Are you sure? That's what I was taught. And it's interesting that they teach us these things in school <laughs> that don't they don't totally add up. Okay. If one person hooks up with another person and they get together, especially in a relationship or love, uh -huh. they make three. Okay. Now, let me just show you. The orc field of one person, the energy of one person connects to the energy of another person. And if they're close enough, those two energies make a third energy. Whether they have a baby or not doesn't make any difference. If you're with two people, two people together actually multiply and it becomes three. Are you are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So one and one doesn't always equal two. It depends on what we're talking about. So as a teacher, you should teach the things that you're learning right here. Mm -hmm. You're a teacher now. All you need is one student. Do you have one student that you can teach? I could recruit one. Do you have any children? Just an adult daughter. Have you taught her anything? I taught her a lot. So was that full-time or was that part-time? That was full-time. So what you're talking about, you would like to be a full-time teacher. I guess for I'm um, in the school system. 
in the school. Are you a teacher? I am a part-time teacher. Who's dividing up time for you? What kind of clock you on? Are you a teacher? Yes. Now, when you said that, where did you feel it in your body? In my gut. In your gut. Your issue right now is that your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system are not working correctly. They're not in sync. Okay. The reason why is because you're allowing what's happening out in the world to have too much effect on what's happening on your inner world. I agree with that. So you're too, you're sympathizing with the world, which means your nervous system is in fight, flight, or freeze. Fight is, we, we're going to beat them up. We got to beat up the, 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 the saber tooth frog or whatever is coming after us. Run. We got to run from the, from the, from the wolf. Freeze is when you don't do anything. You're so scared. You don't do anything. And after being in that environment for a long time, guess what? Your parasympathetic nervous system says, listen, you're not listening to me because you are focusing on what's outside and not what's inside. Correct. The parasympathetic nervous system is like the old wise woman telling you to only focus on the goal. Don't lie because we've been taught the language of liars. You are a full time teacher. You might say I'm attracting more students, but you are a full time speak, you know, teacher. And guess what? Get this time and this clock out of your head. Tickety, tickety, tock. Seconds, you know, seconds don't even make any sense. The time divisions that we use don't even make sense. We just believe it. Right. So you are a teacher now. So here's what we're going to do for you. It's your nervous system. You're going to go to elevationtime.com. And I'm going to send you a gift for your nervous system. Would that be okay? That'd be great. Make sure you say, I'm Karen Taylor. Dr. B, you said you had something for my nervous system. Either email me or go to the email on the website. And we're going to send something that's going to help your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system so that your vagus nerve can now send information to your brain again. There's more information going from your gut to your brain, your cranial brain, than from your cranial brain to your gut. But you've been eating some trash. You've been listening to some trash. You've been hanging out with trash. You've had intimacy with some trashy situations. You don't let some some thieves into the temple. You don't. They, even, you don't, they don't even on the walls. <laughs> yes. What did they write? Was it hieroglyphics? Was it scribble scrabble? It was junk. Okay, so we got to rewrite those programs. So start focusing on that, and your temple begins to renew itself. But I'm going to send you something that can help you help yourself. And please take it and let us know how you like it. And come to the class on Saturday because, see, this class on Saturday is about this. It's about how to make people or help people find their path and become successful by doing what? Remembering their birthright, restoring balance in their mind, body, and spirit, and rebirthing into the now. You got to get into the now state. Your name is Ka Ren. Ka, that means spirit. You <coughs> are the spirit. <coughs> Ka hey, hey, has Karen, to do with doing you. Let me ask you something before we move on, Karen. Do you consider yourself a bold person? Like bold? Are you bold? No. All right. There's a saying. Um, I don't know who created it, but it's an old saying that says fortune favors the bold. I understand that money is a concern for you and um, you don't want to leave your job because you're worried about, you know, money as all of us are. That's in this realm. You know, we use something called there's a collective agreement called money and we use that to pay our bills or whatever. Bold people make bold moves and because they make bold moves that usually they're ahead of 95% of the pack because 95% of the people ain't going to make the moves that the 5% of the bold people going to make. So the cool. 5% get rewarded deliciously as panic used to say by the universe. Now I'm going to give you a business gem, Karen. Um, I don't know if you particularly want to work for the school system or you want to have a huge impact and make money. But the sisters that decide to put together a curriculum on YouTube for the for children all over the world is going to win big. Yeah. So I'm going to let you know now. I don't know if that's anywhere in your mind, but to all the sisters out there, y'all the teachers, 
you know, men, we do, men are teachers as well, but you know, the sisters, they got a thing when it comes to this teaching thing and with the kids and all children and all of that to the sisters out there, whoever decides to put together a curriculum and really home, put their heart into it. Like I said, Dr. P puts his heart into his information and y'all put it on YouTube. Man, the whole melanated world needs that. The whole world needs it, but especially uh, melanated children. My, I'll be on, I'll be on YouTube all the time looking for stuff for my son. Like, damn, and I, and I love when I see. Um, man, let me tell you, the other races they got all types of programs for children, and 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 it's beautiful, it's great. But our children needs to see excellence that is a reflection of them. They need to some see somebody who looks like their mama, um, telling them, teaching them. It just hits harder. So also, I will give you that, that little bit of business advice, Karen. Just keep that in mind. Yes, I can do that. Um, I can work on that because I know I am a great teacher because they request me all the time. At Listen, school Karen, because I can, um, <clears throat> you know, we have these issues in classroom, controlling the classrooms and things like that. And I'm excellent at that. Karen, YouTube is the biggest school system in the world right now. It's the biggest <laughs> university in the world. They call it YouTube University. It's bigger than any university that was that was ever created. HSBCU or uh, what's the other ones? Uh, Doctor B, Yale. What they call them? The Yale and um, what do they call that? They got a name for the Yales and the Ivy Harvard. What's, Ivy League. Yeah. Ivy. No, the Ivy League. The Ivy League. It's YouTube University is bigger than all of that. So, Karen, the poison Ivy people, League. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, thanks for the call. I'm gonna get to about oh, two more and Karen, yes. yes, you gotta get into creating heaven on earth. Okay. So what I'm gonna send you is called heaven on earth. It's for your nervous system. It's how to convert heaven from wherever it's at into you and become the living crystal and become heaven. You're it already. And I like he said, you YouTube University. That's where I'd be. That's the school. You'll have so many students and they'll take care of you. Okay. And my son's serious to stop by. And Karen, I'm going to tell you, if you're bold enough to do that, to make that move, if you're really bold enough to make that move, I'll bring you on the show. Okay. And I introduce you to thousands, hundreds of thousands of people on my show. I'll bring you on my show and, and, and let the people see your university, your um online university. And from there, you could, man, you could just create all types of stuff from there, Karen, but be bold, Karen, be bold. Okay, I can do that. Be bold. Is, is that King Simon? Can we can we bring King Simon on here for a minute? <laughs> what is the numbers, the math uh, of, uh, yeah, it's uh, going, of, it's of, of university? Um, Let me see. We could probably end it with King on the chat. Let me see. Come on, yeah. He got the mathematics of the universe. King, come on on. Uh, I shared the, the link in the chat, King. But listen, Karen, we, we're going to keep talking about it. Thanks. We're going to keep it moving, though. But thanks for calling in, Karen. Okay. Thank you. Thank both. you. All right. Have thank you. All right. Travel okay. light. All right. Um, yeah, man, family, we got to be bold out here. We you got to be delusional. You got to lose your mind. Man, listen, listen. <laughs> doc, doc, I'm going to tell you, man. Oh, man. I remember what I called Dr. B for God power. And I thought I was being delusional. I was like, Dr. B. It's going to be big. We're going to do it. Dr. B said, no, it's going to be bigger. I said, what? This nigga's crazy. It, it, it was just, it's, imagine two delusional people about success talking to each other. That shit is the funniest shit in the world. Because you think you big. Then he, he he gets bigger. Then you match his big. It's like, it's like the most, it's the most entertaining, but most therapeutic shit in the world to talk to somebody who's as delusional as you when it comes to success and to know that y'all both mean it. Y'all not just talking shit, y'all mean it. When I called Dr. B, I said, Dr. B, this is gonna be big. I gave him a number. Dr. B said, no, it's gonna be big. I said, this thing is crazy. I love it. I love it. And you were giving it. me numbers that you were saying was big. I said, no, we got to quadruple that. He was oh, like, you think so? I know, I know so. Oh, because man. I'm focusing so intently. I'm so passionate about creating the impossible. Right. Yeah. I'm creating heaven on earth. I'm passionate about it. Do you understand what I'm saying? No matter what is going to happen, I'm creating it. I'm living on the event horizon because I am living on the place before it happens now, bringing it into this place. So what happened? Then Billy gets involved. And I give him a number. He says, no, it's going to be bigger than that. And what was God power one? 
the biggest event, the biggest conscious event of its kind ever. Yeah. It's still up online. You can go to elevationtime.com. I think you got it on your site too. Yeah. But you can still go to God Power 1 and God Power 2. And we are now putting together God Power 3 for 2025. And it's going to be live. Yeah, you know, it's going to be an actual, at, a, at an actual location. You can also get there online. So be ready. Be live. Be ready. Because this one is going to take it out. We're knocking the ball out the park. Because we're pumped up now. We reached the top of the mountain. Guess what? We've created another mountain. Come with us. Let's ride. All right. All right. All right. Listen, man. I'm, I'm having such a good time. But we got to get out of here soon. Let's get King Simon on here real quick. King, what's going on, King? What's up? We, we what's happening, brother? We need some love. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother right there. <laughs> I'm in New York. I'm in New York. How y'all doing? <laughs> yo, yo, y'all seen the joy on Dr. B's face when King Simon came in the room? We need more of that shit. The joy yeah. on your face. You was like a little kid again, Dr. B. Because he makes me like that. Yo, come on, yo. we don't, we gotta, we gotta come on, y'all. This shit is beautiful. Y'all see what's going on tonight? Oh, this shit is magical. I called King it? Simon. I said, man, King Simon, man, I need some new numbers, man. My numbers are not working out. Please give me some new numbers. I was joking with my fake Jim African accent. Do you know he got really serious and said, actually, we can change your numbers. And he started breaking down this whole other number system. And before he was done, I had new numbers. That's what you need, some new numbers. How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? How y'all doing? Rich, what's up? Uh, how you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great, King. I had a busy day today. So yeah, I'm me a little, too. little fatigued, been running around all day long. But um, I ended up, I, 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 was, I was upset. I was a little mad because I, I set up the show like an hour before the show. And I usually, I feel comfortable when I set my shows up earlier, but just been busy today. But this, this show, man, is really giving me a lot of energy and a lot of good vibes and i'm thankful to be doing this you know on a consistent basis and to be enjoying it man so this is some good shit right here man well you what's know yeah. you know what's so funny with when when you and dr b come together man it adds up to a master 22 hmm. how's that because 17 plus you're born on the 17th he's born on the 5th okay 17 plus 5 equals 22 so it becomes a global thing because 22 is a global number so what about when me, him, and Billy is live? Was on. We did the, add, we did the workshop add, together. So that add, that up to, add up to twenty six, which is an eight, which is a money eight. number. Back to eight. <laughs> it's money. It's a money. <laughs> it's finance. It's energy. It's karmic, but karmic is what you put out. If you put out the good karma, the, <clears> the, the good karma will come back because karma only means cause and effect. If you did, if all of y'all did negative stuff, then y'all will get the negative back effect of it. Mm. That's, wow. And I'm just dealing with the personal numbers, the birth date. That's all I dealt with. <laughs> so let's ask a new question. Yes, sir. So, you know, I talked to Brother Rich today. He was going through some stuff. Yeah. And I was personally going through some things. I didn't know if, if I was going to even be on the show tonight because I was just I was sleepy. I was tired. I had all kind of burnout. I didn't know what was happening. Mm -hmm. What is the mathematics of today? Because now it's turned out mm -hmm. to be a great, amazing time. What's the mathematics of today and how do we add that up? Now, what's so funny about that? You're saying that because today happens to be J.P. Morgan's birthday. Interesting. Now, the great J.P. Morgan has been mentioned forever since he even passed away. And today, if you added up the full day, it would add up to a master number 11 today. If you add the four plus the 17 plus the 2024, it adds up to 2045, a two plus four plus six equals that plus five equals 11. So today's 11 master number day. Now, 11 is a tricky thing because it can be very deceptive in the mind of people. It can be a form of deception in the negative, but also uh, 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 finding the equilibrium between your spiritual and your physical understanding of what's going on in this world today. That's what that finding that balance and not tipping the scale, so to speak. So it's very important when you're in a universal day 11, 11 is more about going into your mind's eye for meditation and bringing what you want from the spiritual realm. So, so you could be antsy in your head. You could be not communicating clear in your head, not finding balance in your head. But 
once y'all find the balance and once y'all make the equilibrium of both the physical and the spiritual world come together, that's when things can work better, which y'all have done because y'all still manifested the show today. Indeed. Wow. <laughs> Yo, King, wow. you know what's inter- you know what's interesting? Is is it's almost I don't want to say it's driving me crazy because you know <laughs> words are energy. But yeah. listen, King, what I say within the last month, I have seen every and pardon the language, y'all, but I'm using this for emphasis. I have seen every fucking angel number over and over and over and over and over and over again. I mean, it's like at this point, I'm like, and you know, some people look for them. They'd be like, some people, and and that's not, you know, that's not really, you know, they, they wait for the time. Like, no, I'm talking about I look up and I see five, five, five. I look over here, four, four, four. Look over here, eight, eight, eight. Look over here, nine, nine, nine. Look down, six, six, six. Look over here, two, two, two. Look over here, three, three, three. Like I'm, to- but I'm not. To- I'm talking about everyone. The one, one, two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 six, 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 seven, seven, Every from one to nine, bro. I'm, and I'm not talking about. I'm talking about repeatedly. This shit is insane at this point. I don't. I don't want to say insane, but it's mind boggling at this point. Within the last month, how many times I have seen every possible angel number again and again and again and again. it's like it's on steroids at this point me but see rich, but rich you if from a year to year birthday you would be in a seven uh, a, a, a year to year birthday you'd be in a seven year cycle right now so the seven year cycle is the spiritual insight and seeing things that other people don't see this year so you're constantly seeing those spiritual things and those spiritual nuances. Just remember to every angel, there's a demon. So just make sure you manage your weaknesses and strengthen your strength. Mm-hmm. That's all. Don't go down the, when, you know, if your wife want to get into an argument, don't go that road. Leave, leave, leave it alone. <laughs> you stay high. When yeah. they want to go, when they want to go low, you stay high. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and that's what you have to do when you're in a seven personal year cycle. Mm personal years. And plus, remember your old soul. So sometimes your old soul energy can also tap into the old energy of the past and trying to, like Sankofa, fetching from the past to move forward into the future. Very important to do that. And that's what you've done by producing these type of things in this day and time. After you've studied everybody that's been doing what they had to do, look what you're doing. You're taking from your past information and bringing it to the future. Right. And you keep on doing it, bringing in the elders and all that kind of stuff, and also bringing the you, young people to balance it off. That oh, is yeah. the small thing, oh, you know. So, Go let ahead. me ask you a personal question. <laughs> okay, sure, bro. <laughs> I've been having Vuja Day. Vuja Day. Vuja Day. Wow. Oh, shit. I, I heard Nothing it that's happening has ever happened before. I don't know where I'm at, I don't know what's going on. I've never been here before. This whole thing is brand new. I'm having Vuja Day. Yes. Everything is new. Every moment I'm having to rediscover, redefine everything <laughs> in every moment. I ain't seen no angel numbers this year. I saw those last year. You, you got a new What back is happening where everything is new for Dr. B every single second? What's, what's that about? Well, Bob, Baba, 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 Doctor B, you are in a five personal year cycle, which is one of your power cycles, which is the number of expansion onto no other levels. Because when I added your one plus the five plus the twenty twenty four, it add up to twenty thirty, and two plus zero plus three plus zero equals five. But remember, twenty is the number of awakening and some great new purpose that you're supposed to step into. And then the 30 is the number of mental, sometimes you've you got mental superiority, but don't hold things deeply in your mind. Be willing to expand on it and let it grow. Don't hold it in, cause it's all new. It's all new from your perspective. And it may have been remixed thousands of years ago, but this is, this is new, this is now for you. And you need to move on, especially in a five personal year cycle. And it's your power year because you're born on the fifth. So beautiful. Enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Wow. Enjoy it. Wow. Just write down, write down everything or text yourself, email yourself and put those things to work. Do it in five days, five weeks, five months. Like in the 5% nation, they said five is the number of power. Power refinement. Power refinement. That's right. Power refinement. Then that power, find the power and then refine it. And bring it to where it got to go. In this personal year. So have fun. <laughs> it, it, it's all good. <laughs> It's deep. 
And I was with Billy, you know, was with Billy Carson and him a couple weeks ago. And he, yeah. he just kept looking at me. He says, man, man, you know, they're looking at you, man, as the spiritual leader. I said, bro, what is this spiritual leader thing? How'd y'all get me in that category? He says, man, this angle that you're on, nobody's on. This is some new stuff, man. I said, but, you know, I'm not going to win. He said, you won. You are a winner, Dr. B. You know, because when, when I'm with people like you, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? King, yeah. and I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with Brother Rich. I'm with, you know, I'm with my brothers. I'm with Billy. It's like we all become equal. All of us are nominated. All of us are nominated. All of us are nominated. Yeah, you all three of us. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so make, it's make, about make, being that and being with groups of people where you can be real and be yourself yeah. and get rid of the ego because it's all of us going through this thing right now that we've never been through before. Yes, that's the truth. We're that's renewing true. our relationships and, and becoming liberated within ourselves. We've never been here before. That's true. So That's we true. invite everybody to come along with us. Let's ride. This is it. It's elevation time. Yeah. And let me tell you on a personal tip, Billy called me like three weeks ago. He was meditating on the beach and he said, his spirit said, call me. And he called me, he said, brother, I just want to say, yo, your, your program is doing well on Forbidden Knowledge. We want to do a second season with you. And you've been nominated. He said all this stuff he was saying to me. And I'm like, man, tears came to my eyes. I'm like, huh? Nominated? What are you talking about? <laughs> what again? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to be nominated is to be a winner. And what we've got to start doing is nominating ourselves. Nominating ourselves. So everybody should go to that phone line nine five four two four five zero zero eight six and vote for all of us in all the different categories that we're in. What's that um, number again? That's nine five four. That's text, text that number, 954-245-0086. And that's how you get to vote for all of us in the different categories that we're in. Because I think um, you're, you're promoter or entrepreneur, Brother Rich? No, entrepreneur. 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 I'm television host and my brother's spiritual leader. So this would be a very great conversation that, that took for us to beat out and all of us walk on that stage and thank the audience for voting for us. I'll be in tears. I'll let you know that right now. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and, and just for the people who are here right now, we have a surprise coming at this particular uh, awards. Oh, yeah. They've asked me to open up the show and to do a whole musical sound bath, rhythmic, cosmic opening <laughs> for this particular awards. It's going to be a gift for everybody, whether you're there live or online. Uh, there's, there's something that just happened musically for me where I just opened up into a place that I've never been before so we're going to share that on the stage live at the forbidden oh. conscious awards man. Real, quick, real quick lance lance i got you tomorrow my brother did not forget about you shout to lance in the chat i that think you did, i think you did email me lance i got you tomorrow my brother don't worry about it i got you tomorrow Just big up to lance big yeah, up to lance yeah. don't forget don't forget brother panic's birthday is the 25th of this month too so that's, okay. his, that's his born day so big up to brother panic you know what i'm saying uh, and also, I uh, just want to tell the family, I got a huge announcement coming soon. I can't say it yet, but it's going to be the biggest announcement I ever made. Uh, yeah. Something big is coming in August yeah. uh, to Atlanta. So yeah. I will let y'all know real soon. Can't make it yet, but something is brewing in the pot right now. And I will notify everybody real soon. But it is a huge, when I say huge, I mean it is a huge announcement that I have coming. So uh and, just be prepared for that. And 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 re remember oh Baba 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 uh Baba Baba Dr. B I have a tribute to Dick Gregory coming up on October 12th and I'd like you to say a few words for him. I his 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 family allowed me to do it and I'm gonna bring his nephew Mark Gregory to do a comedy show. To a really to oh, I'm gonna be there come on man let yeah. me know. I on October 12th. And then the next day is going to be our Baba Ashra Kwesi in Atlanta only. Atlanta, Georgia. That's right. We got to go. So, you know, Rich Rich going to keep his hush hush, but I'm going to tell y'all right now what I'm going to do. And, you know, and, and you've been in the class. Have you you've been in the Soulful Science of Change and Metamorphosis class, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you coming on Saturday? I'm going to see because I'm with my mother for her birthday. So I'm out here. So I'm, I might, I'm going to see if I can make it in or in out, but I'll try to come back. No, but I'll give you a link so you can because you can watch it. You know, if you're not there on Saturday, you can actually link in and watch it at any time. Yeah. You can actually take these classes and courses and use them. These are the tools that we need for expansion. Him and Dr. Madi's class was 
fire, bro. I had a good time with my D Brown, brother. That's my same last name, Brown. So, and Brown and Brown in numerology is a master number 22 in the Chaldean and a, a number nine in the Pythagorean. So those are two elevated numbers right there already. So I'm like, wow. I, knew, I knew it was going to be a good time, bro. But Rich, I, you know, I know you got something phenomenal coming up. So enjoy. <laughs> Be crazy. Somebody, somebody asked about is it Club 363? No, no, it's not that. Um, no. I got something coming up with that soon, too. But this is some, this is something a little different. So I'll big. let y'all uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know uh real soon. But yeah, the mm -hmm. club 363 is that's brewing as well, but it's not and, that, it's another uh no. And no, this will be Rich first event in Atlanta. So make sure y'all come out and support whatever he puts out. I'm telling oh, you, it's gonna be yeah. crazy. First yeah. event. Me, I've been doing little small ones <laughs> here, small ones there, preparing the way. <laughs> That's what I do. Dr. B, I want to ask you, Dr. B, because King Simon, um, I was talking to King Simon, um, I think it was yesterday, he called me in the morning and he yeah. was telling me about his mom's and yeah. um, he was telling me his mom's turned 90 something. I'm like, wow. No, 80, 85, 85. 85. No, your pa your dad is 90 something. No, my dad is 80. Okay, who who was it? You was telling me somebody lived to my be a hundred. My grandfather on my father's side lived to 92. My my great my, okay. my grandfather on my mother's side lived to 103. Dr. B, is you, are, are any of your parents still alive, brother? No, my parents left the planet. My mother left on the exact day that she said she was going to leave. Wow. My mother, it was Thanksgiving of one year, and my mother said, look, I'm going to go be with daddy. And this was Thanksgiving. Check this out. Wow. She said, and she went to the closet. She told me to go look in the closet, and she said, you see those clothes in that in that clothes and that, 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 uh, that hanger? She said, mm -hmm. I want to wear those clothes. I want this. I need these shoes. She was wow. showing me everything, right? I said, but Ma, don't talk like this. You know, you okay. She said, no. And then check this out. This is Thanksgiving. So it's November 25th. <clears throat> she said, I'll be leaving on the second month, mm. the uh, second day of the second, of the seventh, of the second day at 707. Whoa. Whoa. It was February the second at seven oh seven. My mother told me this. Whoa! On because my mother was on some whole other stuff. You're talking about metaphysics. Yeah, she might have created it. <laughs> <laughs> People was hitting numbers and everything. You wanted to hit the lottery. You go talk to my mom. My mom just knew. She was always living on her event horizon. But how are you gonna tell somebody what day you leaving? That's deep. She left when she took her last breath. It was at that exact moment dick gregory mm. chose the time that he was leaving yes and his wife told me lil says she says you know dr b don't be sad she says he smiled and took a breath and said i'm gone because you know they could have fixed him they didn't know what was wrong with him right he said no i'm not letting y'all cut me i'm leaving i could do more on the other side than i can do from here to mm. get deep breath and left so when you begin to choose how you're going to live right and you choose how you'd like to leave and when you choose each moment, how you'd like to wake up and how you'd like to go to sleep, now you're choosing your life. See, the system was set up to get us to let go of our own choice. Mm. We became mental, physical, and spiritual slaves. Mm. When we said, no, I'm taking charge. When I asked the brother, I said, I need new numbers. I'm joking with him. Within a few minutes, he had new numbers for me. And I like the way they sound. Because I multiplied. And I didn't because remember, remember what Terrence Howard said. He said multiplication as exaggerated addition. So <sighs> if you exaggerate the addition, now you get another set of numbers. And <laughs> people on Lloyd's Lloyd Strayhorn's platform said, No, you can't do that. You can't do that. I said, You can't tell me what I can't do. I seen it because my spirit said I need to do, do it. And like Brother Rich was telling that young lady, you got to explore and go ahead and do it. So do it in a joyful and know that trust in your spirit that is going to work for you. I told her be bold. I told her be bold. Be bold. I'm bold when I come to this. So you learn laws so that you can break them. Break them. First, you need to learn the law. Learn Ooh. the basics. Exactly. Then break it. Exactly. I break spells. I break laws. Exactly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and, you know, we, we are teaching people how to actually do the metamorphosis and become invisible. Right. You can actually become invisible. I do it all the time. I have to now because if I go to the grocery store, people, Dr. B, Dr. B, hey, Dr. B, can you do my numbers? I said, I don't do numbers. You got to call King. <laughs> no, but King Simon, no, he's the one that I said, been see that because they don't know. All they know is that we're on the platform together. <laughs> so you have to learn how to become invisible. 
and sometimes learn, learn how to breathe a certain way and how to focus your energy so you can't be seen. And sometimes we want to be seen too much that we don't know how to be invisible. That's right. That's right. We're talking so much that we don't know how to be quiet. We're That's thinking right. so much that we don't we can't really meditate. So we're teaching people now through all of us. All of us are learning something new. That's right. I'm learning something from Brother Rich every time. The man called me and said, yeah, we're going to do this class, blah, blah, blah. And every time we decide to do a presentation, right. Brother Rich tells me, I tell him what I'm going to talk about. And he calls back with a title that I have no idea even. It's so deep. I mean, I got to study tonight to figure out what is he talking about? This is good with them titles, yo. <laughs> so today I gave him a title and he just said, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. He says, okay. Then usually he sends me the information around two o'clock so I can post it. Man, it's, I'm, I'm biting my nails. I'm like, man, I, I, I don't know where Brother Rich is at. He said he was on the freeway and stuff was going on. I, I don't even know if this thing is happening. And boom, just before the show starts, yeah, he sends me this, this, this thing. And it's happening because what we're learning right now is to get out of the loop. Yes. Mm. We've been loopy. The music has made us loopy. It's the same. It ain't got no bridge. You can't put no bridge, no change in the music. They don't even like doing breakdowns no more. The only time you're going to hear breakdowns is when you go to get, you know, to a club and it's a good DJ. Right, right. We used to put breakdowns right in the record because we right now it's all programming us to be a certain way. And they're programming the cattle and the domestication is heavy right now. Right. And people think they're being free. I'm doing what I want to do. This is my own style. No, that style come from prison. That style come from the crazy house. That style come from blah, blah, blah. These styles are fashions and fashions come from fascism. And fascism is when somebody comes and tells you what color is in, what hat is in, what shoe is in. This is fascism. But now we get to break that spell and we're doing it right here, right now. So I just want to thank both of you thank for you. helping me break you, my own spell. Thank Brother you. Rich told me I was going to be on the show the first time. I'm not going. I'm watching Star Trek. He said, no, man, come on. You're going to be on the show. No, I don't want to be on the show. You're going to be on the show. Guess what? I was on the show. <laughs> and my whole life began to change. It took a whole new angle. You know, I wasn't ready for this. Brother Rich, I was trying. Out. He said, no, you got to do it, man. The people love you. They need you. So once we allow ourselves to be ourselves and then have passion and get our why together. My why is I'd like to help people. Yeah go through the change in the alchemy in the shift that creates that butterfly butterfly flies wherever it pleases and pleases wherever yeah. it flies that's right that's right that's right now rich rich you born in 81 right yeah you know what's so funny your life path is 27 before it reaches the nine and 27 is the number of a scepter scepter is that, that mystical staff that's been passed down from generation to generation but it's a scepter of creativity and productivity from a spiritual and physical perspective so that's mm -hmm. why when you pull those questions out of the air like that people be like what the, that's a good question good rich got that life path 27 before it goes to the nine and then nine is that universal high frequency number of humanitarian love so you're able to tap into the human humanitarians of the minds of people mm. through those hey. questions and i like uh, rich on that day for doctor for um um for, for dick gregory i'd like you to say a few words because i know you had him on your channel a lot back in underground I definitely want no. you to say a few words october 12th the error was, I think it was uh blog talk 20, 2013. No, no, this was after blog talk. This is mm -hmm. when I made the transition to YouTube. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was on you, it was on you. He helped Dick Gregory yeah. helped catapult catapult my YouTube channel mm -hmm. to, to a whole new level, right? Because right. he introduced me to a whole new audience. And at that time, yeah. I was covering a lot of um pop culture topics, yeah. stuff like that. And we would talk about you know the police killings and yeah. things yeah. that was going on in pop culture. So yeah, I would love to do that. Definitely yeah, would love to do that. We got, his, family, his family gave me the blessings. Dr. Christian Gregory gave me the blessings. And I said, I'll be honored to do it. And I, he, he can't do it because he's going to be reconsummating his marriage on that day. So Mark Gregory said he'll do the comedy show. We'll close out. But I have all that. People do the libation and people like you and Dr. B speak on his, you know, Dick Gregory. Then I'll have his, his son, his nephew do the comedy show. And let's talk to him about Dick. Because Dick Gregory inspired him to be a comedian. And I can him. also call Gregory Gregory. You know, Gregory, Gregory, is, oh, we're, we're really tight. You know, Gregory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I asked Dick, I said, well, how are you going to call him Gregory, Gregory? Yeah. He said, well, see, at that time, they was, they was, a, you know, they was a, people, they was drafting people. 
And in order to be drafted, you need a first and a last name. So I gave him two last names or two first names. So he couldn't get drafted. I'm like, what? Yeah. And Gregory Gregory was right there with Mr. Gregory most of the time. And him, him and I have a very special relation. So wow. I'll see if he can come down too. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, even while he calls his daughter Miss Gregory, so they always call her by respect, call her Miss Gregory. You see? <laughs> so hey, that's something Miss. You see what I'm saying? This is not, this is some genius right here. Gregory is brilliant. Man. And I just want to say one thing about nine. Yes, please. Nine is all the numbers. Yes, am I right? Absolutely. All the numbers are in absolutely. nine. Absolutely. So with 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 you being a nine, brother. Yes, his life path. Yeah. You're everything. You're all the numbers. All of it. Nine is the only number that's really not a number. It mm -hmm. represents all the numbers. No matter what you when you multiply anything times nine, it ends up nine. That's right. When you add something to nine, it shows you the number you added to it. Right. Nine is a whole nother dimension. It's right. another level. It's born. Bring you. You're being birthed into another dimension. That's right. I didn't know you was a nine, brother. We should. You should have told me that a long time. Ago. Like that. <laughs> we could have had a different conversation because you know, at twenty seven nine, bro. Y'all are just on everything. That's how you pulling this stuff out the air. Because the two and the seven are spiritual water numbers in numerology. So that's an intuitive, two intuitive numbers that equates to a fire number nine that takes it to the humanitarian stratosphere. That's, mm. it, it gets deep, man. Now, people don't even realize. I keep on studying and studying. That's why I've never mastered anything. I'm always a student. Always a student. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank yeah. you very much for allowing Thank me to you. come up, Rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. This is not every time you talk, man. We love you. You see, you came on here. We just started hitting you with questions, King. Hitting you with questions, man. This is what this is what it's about. This is exactly. This is exactly what it's about, man. So, that, that's why I do numerovation. I don't just do numerology. I have to motivate you with your numbers. I cannot just break down and read. I don't read people. I help, I'm help. i here to help activate and maximize whether you choose to do so or not. I always, Dr. B and Rich, I always tell my clients, I said, look, I'm like the Mission Impossible cassette. It's going to blow up in the next five minutes. Give you up five seconds if you don't use this information. <laughs> this is what it is. Hey, bro, no, bro. For real. I see, I see somebody somebody in the chat asked me an interesting question. They said, Rich, do you believe in white people having neural melanin? Mm. Now, you know, Bobby Hammett said something very interesting many years ago. He said, um, a lot of the people that, you know, this term white, black, these are invented terms. Um, the a lot of people that we think are white people, Bobby Hammett said, they're not really white people. What we would consider white people died out a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What I noticed the system, and I, I heard Tariq Nasheed and other people talk about, I think Nelly Fuller talk about this. Mm -hmm. When the numbers start dwindling, what they consider to be the blonde hair, blue eye, whatever, whatever, they start recruiting people. Mm -hmm. So Hispanics become white. They recruit people to add on to the numbers. So a lot of people who are classified as white, y'all probably not even what we would call white. So passing. I'm sure, yeah, passing that. I'm sure a lot of y'all got neuromelanin. I'm sure, you know, I don't, white people may, may not even exist in the world no more today, y'all. Who who knows what we consider white um, 30, let's say, uh, not 30, uh, let's say 3,000 years ago. If you looked at a white man 3,000 years ago and looked at one today, it's like night and day. Totally different. You know, so, so, you know, um, you're looking at a troglodyte then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not, you know, shout, out, shout out to all the white people who watch the show. Yeah, big up to the white people. I'm, I'm, I'm focused on other things, so I'm not really focused on that. But when you ask that question, it just made me think about um what Bobby Hemmett said a while ago. So, you know, I'm going to do what I do on my end and, you know, y'all do what y'all do. And, and, and even what Dr. Blair said, he said, sometimes do this 26,000 year procession. We'll come back black, white, Indian. We'll come back white, male, female, all of that. We'll go through all those cycles. Dr. Blair said that. And the <clears throat> thing we need to realize is that we're on the earth together. Exactly. We got to become cosmic citizens now. Mm -hmm. We have to join in with the cosmos. I have a guy I've been talking to, mm -hmm. and he is the person who made the sound effects for Star Trek and Star Wars. What? This dude is on some deep, he's a scientist and a musician. Woo. He knew the dude Dan Bateman. Dan Bateman is the guy who wrote the book. Who, oh, let me get it. 
Have you have you, you guys know this book? Wait a minute. Put it in front. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. Through the eyes of alien, through the alien eyes. I've seen that before. I don't got it. Yeah. Get the book. I got to put it on my This screen. book was written by the guy who was channeling the Federation, the Galactic Federation. Mm. The people thought he was crazy because he was channeling all these different civilizations out mm -hmm. in the galaxy. And then the whole UFO thing got weird and they started talking about the little gray dudes with the big heads and it became like a mockery. So he got upset and said, look, I'm going to leave this alone because people don't want to listen. We we can't. The humans on Earth are not ready to join the Galactic Council yet. Mm -hmm. He, this guy Bateman, goes mm -hmm. to Gene Roddenberry. Mm -hmm. and says, I'm going to give you the whole story and call it Star Trek. Show that book again, Doctor. Please. You see, through alien eyes. Yeah, I'm putting it in my cart now. This book is a, this is deep. The dude yeah. was a channel. Yeah. Now, check it out. Gene Roddenberry, who did Star Trek, who came up with Star Trek, mm -hmm. was just using the book and the references that this guy gave him to create the show Star Trek, which is still the most successful television show in history because it had people from all different races in powerful positions. It wasn't about being white. It wasn't about being black. It was about power and all of us moving right on a five, mm -hmm. five year mission to mm -hmm. seek out new life. Mm -hmm. We're all from somewhere else. I know I'm not from here. Mm -hmm. Me too. When I met Dr. Kwaku Ando and he said, brother, you, you're from Sirius. You really are. You're, 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 you're a traveler. This is where most of us are travelers. And I actually have met some people and some beings from other realms. We're going to talk about that one day, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't just see ships. I've had visitations, uh, uh, encounters of the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, for real, this ain't just some talk. So sometime when you see me out there, I'm out there. You out there. Mm -hmm. We are on a journey together. We're travelers. We're not from the earth. There really is no white, black, brown. That was all created to cause separation. There's a book on that, too. There's a book on that race creation stuff. Yep. And we figured melanin. Every, everybody got melanin. Everybody got melanin. It might be deeper in the tissue. Some right. is at the skin, some is deep in the tissues, but you couldn't live without melanin. That's exactly. Dr. Africa used to say that. Yep. And we can all tap into what? Melanin is tapping into the carbon or the deepness or the beginnings of all of us. The exactly. dark matter. We're dark matter materials and you can transcend your color. You can transcend your, you know, who you think you are, your name, your title. Why we keep letting these people give us titles? I'm not black. Ain't nobody black. Well, I didn't know a guy who was blue black. He was like purple, though. <laughs> <laughs> but we keep calling ourselves this stuff, which is reducing us. You know, Get out of that. We got to let that go. We got to be beings. We got to be beings first. Never mind human beings. Just be right. being. Mm -hmm. And when you're being, you can only be in the moment. See, that's why I'm Dr. B, because I'm being alive mm -hmm. in the moment. I'm in jazz. I'm in the jasmine world. I'm creating love and harmony in the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a being. I'm not a human being. Human is man-made. Mm -hmm. A human mm -hmm. being, look at the law dictionary, Black's law dictionary. It says a human being is not a natural thing. It can't even, you can't have, you can't really own land. Right. You can't get a dowry. Right. You talk about you, you need human rights. They give you, give them some human rights. That just means you're a slave. So just be a being first. Be here right now and be the best you can be. <laughs> That's <laughs> the magic. That is the Black magic. That's right. So when we move out of that, we realize that we're on a mission on spaceship Earth. I don't care if it's flat, round. I don't care what they say it is. Hey, you know, the Earth is flat. So what? You still better go pay your bills. <laughs> you still better figure out who you are. Whether, no matter where you're at, you need to be here now and do the best you can do and tap into the natural rhythms of life. Yeah. It's a rhythm here. Yeah. Everything is opposite. Everything else. You can't have black without white. What if you wake up tomorrow and there's no black people? What, what right. white folks are gonna do? <laughs> and, um, if we wake up tomorrow and there's no no white people, what the black folks gonna do? See, we're gonna lose our minds because it takes everything to make this thing work. Yeah. Go ahead, brother Rich. I'm sorry. No, um, we're about to wrap it up, but just one quick message to what I want to say to the individuals out there, my folks that are heavily melanated, um out there, my what we call black folks. 
we got to really tap into this. You know, it's a gift. It's a gift from God to have this chemical that we call melanin or Dr. Sabi said carbon. I want us to really tap into it, you know, and not in a negative way, in a way to be the best version of ourselves. If we, if this is truly a gift and we truly have something amazing, which we do, this is a technology that's, you know, being researched all the time, every day, all day. Let's really, you know, let's really tap into that technology. You know, that's let's right. really, really tap into this technology and uh, we are we are some wonderful people. We are some amazing, wonderful people. We have made some. We have been here millions and millions and millions of years. We've been here a long time, family. So I know some of us is tired of being in this realm, and we just like, man, I just want to get out of here. Yeah. Let's 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 you know let, let's finish it let's finish strong. I've been let's, there. Let's, let's finish it up strong, family. I know we've been here a long time. But let's let's finish this up strong, you know. And you know, Rich, at the event this weekend with Ma and Lloyd, a, a white woman who would appear to be a white woman, she said she was so enamored to see us. She cried every time she seen one of us speak on the mic. A white girl. So I had to give her a hug. I said, everything is all right. I don't, I don't, I don't, King. I don't trust white women's tears, though. <laughs> Oh, well, she wasn't, she wasn't calling me. She wasn't that's one thing. Ooh, oh, no. I, I stay away from them tears. I don't. Uh, no. I, just, I just had to embrace her because she was so overwhelmed by the stuff that she's seen on Black Magic and all over the world. I just gave yeah. her a hug. Lloyd gave her a hug. I said, look, uh, relax. That's we beautiful. Good. That's, that's good. good. That's beautiful. But I know. I understand. Believe me. I, you no, know, I, I was on the school of Khalid back in the day. <laughs> you know? Oh, God. I knew there was going to be some division. Division is coming soon. We're all the same here on the earth together. All of a sudden, nope, I don't trust him now. <laughs> it ain't me now. I don't Chris eat with him. I don't Chris, eat with him. Chris started. Y'all, something else, yeah. man. Love. We, we, no, we having a good time here tonight. It's we beautiful. Have, we having a good time. It's it's. We've been on here two and a half hours, so I'm a little delusional now. Uh oh, <laughs> that's a good thing. You high. Like, we, we're gonna do a show. We're only gonna be on for an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. You don't control time. Time is time is. Time we, is what it is. You know, a, a lot of people tune into this show because it's so authentic. The show yeah. is so authentic and we're transparent. And people of all over the globe tune into this because they could they could feel the authenticity of this show. And I'm I'm thankful that the people allow me to be me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a shucking and jiving, grinning Negro up here. They allow me to be me, and they appreciate it, and they appreciate the content. So everybody all over the globe that's watching, I truly, truly, truly appreciate your support. And um, just, you know, you, 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 you tuning in to the platform. You know, we, we're going to continue to grow and get better and better. Um, any closing? We're about to get out of here. Any closing remarks before we get out of here, Dr. B and King Simon? I'll let King Simon go. Yeah, let me go in there, Dr. B. First and foremost, family, thank you for supporting Brother Rich, myself, and Dr. B. I honestly know that we are on a journey, all of us together, and this is synchronicity that you're even watching us. And if you do want to link up with me, my, my you can text me your full name and date of birth to do a consultation or go to my link tree forward slash King Simon and numero Vader for all my events. Check out my YouTube channel. I had Riza Islam on yesterday, tonight. It was a good event. A lot of people turned up just to watch. So Family, support what we're doing, support the events that all of us are doing, whether it's free online or whether we're doing. But thank you, Brother Rich, for always being a genuine, loyal person, because Rich has always been a loyal. That number 17 is a loyal energy. It's and I got my life path as a 17. And then Dr. B is born under that Capricorn, misnomer Capricorn, which is connected to the eight, which is a loyal numbers. These are loyal numbers. And these brothers have been loyal to me. And I want to thank Dr. B for giving me the next title for my book when it comes to, when it comes to angel numbers. He gave me a subtitle. And I'm, I'm working on it, Brother Dr. B. We talked about it around breakfast at that hotel. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'm working on it, my brother. All right. And, and Billy Carson wants to be the um, publisher for it. So we're doing yes. it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rich. Thank you, Dr. B. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. So tomorrow night, uh, I'm doing a free webcast. So go to elevationtime.com and go to events and sign up for the free webcast. I'm going to talk about the body, mostly health some herbs. We're going to talk about medicine music and how music can be used to build or destroy. Yes. And on Saturday, make sure you're there for the part three of the soulful science of change and metamorphosis class with myself and Dr. Madi Brown. That's an actual class. It's not free. It's going to be a donation, but you're going to be donating to something of a higher vibration. And if you take all three classes, you will receive a rebirth certificate. That's right. And I'd like to tell a little story before we go. Okay. 
there were three frogs and they lived in froggy town and they were happy frogs. They ate all the things they had flies and grasshoppers to eat. They were really joyful. And the three frogs after dinner decided to go for a frog hop. So they were hopping and hopping down the frog path and they fell into a big hole and the hole was too deep for the frogs to hop out of. And they kept hopping and hopping. And one frog started saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, we're t- the hole is too deep. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. The sun goes down. The next morning, that frog was dead. Mm. The other frogs kept hopping. They kept hopping. And then the next night, the other frogs started saying, see, it's just like Harry. We are going to die. We're not going to live. We're not going to die. We're gonna, we can't make it. We can't get the, the, the hole is too deep. We're going to die. Next morning, that frog was dead. The next day, the other frog keeps hopping. Then the clouds come. And it begins to rain and the hole begins to fill with water. And the third frog floated out of the hole and hopped back into Froggy Town. And the other frogs were like, oh, God, well, we thought you died. You didn't. We, we already had a funeral and everything for you guys, a memorial. How did you get out of, you know, out of danger? And the frog said, huh? Well, what happened? He says, I can't hear you. What do you mean? I'm deaf. I cannot hear. I don't listen to other things. I am deaf. I am dumb and I am blind. And no matter what, I keep going and keep going because I cannot fail. And if I listen to you guys, I will fail and you'll have me dead and buried and gone. The key, listen to yourself. Listen to your heart. Find love in yourself. Do what you truly love. Have passion. The law of rhythm is you keep moving no matter what. No matter how deep the hole is, you're going to one day float out of it. No matter how high the mountain is, you got to be ready to climb over that mountain. Go into yourself. Become yourself. Get rid of the mental, physical, and spiritual parasites. Keep hopping. Be blind, deaf, and dumb to what the world is telling you. Go into the inner world. The inner verse is more powerful than the outer verse. You are the orchestra and the orchestrator of your life. Travel light. Most of that luggage is not yours anyway. Listen, family, um, and right before we get out of here, we're going to, um, I, I know people still in the back. Um, I'm going to do a live Q&A with Dr. B. And next time I'm going to have another special guest with him. I'm going to talk to the brother about that. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be explosive. So we're going to do a live Q&A. It's going to be like a, a amazing therapy session for the people and for the family out there. Stay tuned for that. We'll probably do that in about a week or two, something like that. Two, three weeks, something like that. But yeah, okay. King. Can I say happy birthday to my mother celebrating 85 years? Uh, yes. It's happening on the 21st happy of birthday. April this Sunday. So we're going to be having din- going to go out to dinner. She loves music. So we got to go to we got to go to a restaurant that have a live band. So yes. Happy yes. birthday, mom. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, 85 years is not easy. And I know it wasn't easy with me and your, me and my sister. So <laughs> it is what it is. Especially so. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. True. Especially me. <laughs> I was, Simon I was King, a rebel. Simon Templar. I was a rebel, so yes. Treble yeah. man. <laughs> you know, you know the, the reason, um, Dr. B, and I know we I keep running my mouth. The reason why I <laughs> asked you that about your parents, Dr. B, is because sometimes I forget that, um, and it, it, it sounds crazy, but it, it's whatever. Sometimes I forget that people who are older than me still have parents yeah. because my parents... I never had my father and my mother passed away when I was 25. So I've been without, you know, parents for a long time. Yeah. So sometime when King Simon be like, yeah, well, I'm at my mother's house. In my mind, my mind like, damn, that nigga still got a mother? And I got to <laughs> remind myself like, yeah, people have mothers and their mothers are alive too. 80, 90, and I'm like, oh shit. Because I forget that. Like, because to me, it's normal now yeah, it's normal. Yeah. not to have parents. But I forget that the rest of the world when they're forties and in their fifties, they still have parents. So it's just something, you know, that's just, it's not a sad thing. It's just a part of life that um, I chose to experience and that I've, um, I've accepted, but it's just like weird. It's like, wow, I, I got to continuously remind myself of that. So that's why I asked that too. Yeah. Well, I just need to do a little course correction. Okay. Your parents are not gone. Exactly. If you keep saying when they died and all that, maybe just say they graduated. 
Okay. Yes. The they went to Cosmic the- College. They're in Cosmic College right now. Because yeah. once you say they're dead, you cut off the channel, the portal yeah. to reach them. You are your mother and your father, even though you never knew your father. Your father is in you because that's yeah. why you're a good father now. You see, right. if you say you didn't have a father, then you get further and further from the father within you. You are the father. You are the mother. You are the beginning, the end. You are everything. You are the universal consciousness happening right now. So we got to stop killing our parents. We got to stop killing our relatives and our friends. They don't die. It's impossible. It's just a perspective that we have because we stuck in these meat suits and we think this is it. We come from another realm. We're cosmic light. We're lensed together and we're magnetized into these bodies for a very short time. This is just bus stop earth. Don't think Mm. this is the journey. It's Mm. a bus stop. Sit your ass down. Do what you got to do here because everybody's leaving. But guess what? The law Mm. of rhythm Mm. says that to be alive, you must also be dead. To be mm. here, you must also you not be, be here. here. For mm. there to be matter, there must also be antimatter. Mm. Does it matter? Yes. You are your mother. You are your father. You mm. are living right now, my brother. So let's stop killing our parents. Mm. Let's stop killing our loved ones. Let them live. And once a week, I have a council meeting with my parents and all the people that I respect that left and went on the other side. And mm-hmm. I ask them, and I bring them to the table in my own mind. It's my own mastermind system. And I sit here and I say, y'all come to the table. And they come in my mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And guess what? I ask them. This is what I'm dealing with. I got to be on with, you know, uh, Brother Rich this week. What do I, should I talk about? And something pops up. Because if you realize they're alive and act like they're alive, because there is no life and there is no death, there's just isness. We need to be in the business of being in isness and isness. Stop. but putting uh, uh, we we be putting a, a curse on ourselves and cutting off the channel and the connection to the everything to the all the the all the thing. That's a new thing. The all the thing. So yes, brother, I, I want to thank your mother and your father. Yes, for sir. being here because we're here right now, brother Rich, because of your mother, your father, mm-hmm. your grandparents, and right. all the four something thousand people that made you on this continent exactly. be who you are right now. Exactly. I am thankful to all of them. So exactly. let's stop killing them softly with that sad song. They're here now. They're here now. That's Dr. right. And thank, you. thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for checking me, Dr. B. Thank you. Thank Definitely. you. No, I'm serious, brother. Thank you for you checking me. And I will not, yeah, I will not say that. I will not use that word. Cause I just I just used that word to um somebody the other day and they they said something similar the the word dead, um, mm-hmm. but yeah yeah thanks for checking me on that Doctor B that's what the elders are and, here for. Yeah. I Let me share yeah I just keep running my <laughs> we mouth. can't stop we can't. <laughs> let me share this. listen I'm because I this is a genuine it's like being on the phone which this is like a genuine conversation um so on the day of the eclipse I'm gonna take because now that Doctor B said you know don't when he when he just said that it. Something in my mind just clicked, and I remembered what happened the day of the eclipse. So the day of the eclipse, I tell you, my lady, was, my lady was scared. Let me say that I don't want to hear me. My lady was scared. She was at home. She was hiding and shit like this. She was, she was hiding and shit. You know. She, she was, so I went outside. You know, I, I'm outside. At first, I had to get some, um, I had to get some honey from KT. So I had to get some money from KT, but I'm looking at the time. I'm like, when this motherfucking eclipse coming? I'm looking at the time and shit. So. The clip's supposed to come, so I, I pull up to the um. I said, let me let me drive to uh Whole Foods because I had to get some stuff from Whole Foods. So I'm driving. I'm on the highway, right? And anybody who's anybody knows this is my pop's last name. So I'm driving, and then this truck gets in front of me, and this truck is in front of me for a while. Then it just hits me. I say, hold up. I say, is that my dad trying to communicate with me? Mm. I said, that's my. I'm going to show you what I've seen. Because you know, everybody who's, who's on the road sees this truck. I said, is that my dad? I said, I said, I said is that my dad trying to communicate? And the truck was in front of me for a long time, probably about 20 minutes, 20 good minutes. And I'm like, I think my dad tried. And I was like, what's up? I was like, what's up, man? Because that's my father's last name, uh, Dr. Yeah. B. If you don't know, that's my, my father's yeah. last name. Um, and I was just like, Damn. I think he's trying to communicate. And I, and I started talking to him, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you said what I said. Because, you know, you will get clues from the universe that our uh, people's trying to contact us. But it's the day of the eclipse. I'm driving and I'm looking for the eclipse. And then this truck just pull in front of me and stays there for about 20 minutes. And in the 10-minute mark, I finally realized, wait a minute, that says Swift. 
Oh, yeah. look. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this shit is right. real, Dr. B. So I'm you just reminded me of that when and, you said that, Dr. And you know, Dr. B reminded me through his his affirmation. I said every day after my show, I forgive myself, my family, and others for imperfection, and I am thankful for my life. And I believe my mother and father are still alive, so we had to forgive each other. It was a forgiveness thing. That's why they're still here with us in this realm mm-hmm. and not transition. Because we had I had to forgive them and they had to forgive me. So I believe me, that's why I think I'm happy for them. The truck mm. had blue and yellow. Mm, that's one of his favorite colors. <laughs> blue and yellow. So that's the solar plexus mm. and the higher consciousness coming together in the body. Mm. The truck was moving and it's called swift. Mm. Which has got to do with moving quickly from here to a destination. Exactly. And next to it was a hill. The mountain that you're climbing ain't no mountain high enough. Did I say it earlier tonight? Ain't no valley low enough. As long as you keep moving, as long as you keep hopping, as long as we stop killing our ancestors. Yeah. See, some people got ancestors, but a lot of us got ant sisters. Mm-hmm. Automatic negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. The automatic negative thoughts are the ants. And we live in the ancestral world and they biting us because (laughs) we keep thinking about the disagreeable and what's bad because we was trained by people, right? The people that trained us knew that if we act dead and walk dead, as we talked about the word earlier, like, the word like has a lot to do with death. A lot of the things that we are into are into what? Being not totally alive. Mm. And we focus on death and bad and what's, you know, we want to be right. We want to be right. You know, I I, I got to live. I got to live. I don't want to die. You can't die. Where was you before you got here? You don't think you was, you think you was nowhere? There's only now where, right? There's a now where right now. And we're all going to leave up out of here at some point. We don't know when it's going to happen. That's right. But we live the best life. We got to move swiftly. We got to be truck. We got to keep on trucking. That was a truck. How many mm-hmm. wheels was on the truck? Huh? 16. How many wheels was on that truck? Look 16. at the numbers. Look at the word swift. That's Look at 16. the vibration of the word swift. Look at the yeah. blue and the yellow and the mountain next to it, brother. Yes, that was your daddy. And your daddy was eclipsing the light of your world because he eclipses you. Sometimes you need the light to turn off so the light internally can come on. Mm. Damn man, let me, let me see that one more time. Yeah, Doctor B. Yeah, you are. It's a sixteen wheeler. Yeah, yeah. You, you a see, bad, uh, you, a you bad see the truck, Doctor B. You see it? Swift. Yeah. yeah. Look at the hill. Up, yeah. up the ladder to the roof. Keep and climbing. Rich, no matter Rich, what. Rich, didn't you wear that color? Did, Rich, didn't you like to wear the color hat with that color, that yellow and blue? No, no, green, green and yellow. No, green, yeah, green and yellow. Green, I know it was green, one of the colors back like in the day. Yeah. Green, green, and yellow. Yeah, yeah. A's. But, but man, man, man. Wow. That what a what what a show, y'all. What a show. I mean, I didn't I didn't expect this. You know, I did not expect this. I didn't expect this to go this long. Expect the I, unexpected. Exactly. Like Bruce Lee used to say, expect the unexpected. Well, you wasn't here earlier, King. Doctor B said when he thought he didn't have no more time left and he thought he was gonna die, he created time. I, I watched he, it. I watched it. He was watching it. Yeah. When he thought he didn't have time, he cre- that's when he he created it. That's right. I had to because if I listen to what they were telling me, I'd be dead. You'd be dead. That's right. If I keep listening to what they tell me, see this whole thing about the life expectancy. Mm. Where does that come from? Oh, you know the life expectancy of a black man. And this, yeah. And you hear that in that voice, and it sounds very important, and it's a voice <laughs> of authority. Doctor expect- You know, I was on the radio. I was listening to the radio one day, driving my car. So let me listen to the radio. Commercial comes on, and they say. It sounded like they said 10 out of nine black men is going to get prostate cancer. That's what I heard. 10 out of nine. I started feeling myself. I said, wait a minute. Do I I feel a little pain down there? Because they they start messing with your head. So your life expectancy becomes what you expect based on what you've been programmed to expect. But when you expect, you create your own life expectancy, but you got to be an expectorant. You got to get that trash out. You got to let that stuff go about what you've been told. And now you need to be what? Expecting the best out of life. Even if you down low and you're going through drama and you don't have nothing right now, 
if you keep focusing and re remember the law of rhythm and the law of reciprocity mm -hmm. in the reticular activating system, which we're going to be talking about in the class on Saturday, what happens is, is if you stay focused on a goal, you create it. So when they tell you you don't have much time, whose clock are they using? Exactly. And they know. Yeah. And why are they calling it a watch? And why is it watching me? Yeah. Who's watching who? And why they give you a watch when you retire? I needed the thing in the beginning so I could be here on time. <laughs> You've been late to work for 20 something years. Now you're retiring. And now you sit and watch that tell I vision and die and take those pills that they told you to pill to take. Uh, You've got to create your own life expectancy. Otherwise, mm -hmm. what you do is you get with brother, brother King Simon, tell him you don't like your numbers. Can you give me some new numbers? And he starts doing the multiplication because see, when you go to school, they should teach you multiplication, right? They should no, they should teach you subtraction first. Check this out. I'm, I'm almost done. Oh, there's a way to do that too. <laughs> let, me give you, let me give you this. Let me give you this. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You addition first. Yes. How to add? To keep add on. Yeah. What they need to do is teach subtraction first. Mm -hmm. So I can cut away the things in my life I no longer desire. I can do the circumcision of the heart and cut away all that stuff that was given to me that passed me down bullshit. Cut away. Then I need to learn division so I can divide myself and multiply myself by being more than one. Mm -hmm. right. Then we can talk about addition. Because if you just adding shit on top of shit, all you got is a dung hill. Yep. And the average person be so much mess and so much scar tissue, they can't, they can't, they can't even break down the scar tissue. So you need enzymes, you need mental enzymes to break down scar tissue. A mental enzyme is a new idea, a new reactive idea that activates the person that you would like to become. I had to learn this. The, 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 it was challenging learning this, but guess what? I'm living the life I came to live. So even when I'm down, I'm not out. I'm going to fall down. I go through what they call manic depression. I like it. I'm down here. I'm through. But guess what? I'm looking up at the ceiling as I'm laying down. That's right. Then all of a sudden, I get a call. King Simon, I call, hey, bro, what's happening? And he'll bring me right out of it quick. <laughs> I'm always checking on my brothers. Man. He, we always talk. You know, I got some stuff to say to him. He's got some stuff to say to me. But we are connected on a special level. And I know if Brother Rich is calling, what's happening? <laughs> and if Billy Carson calls, hey, man, what's happening, bro? It's a whole thing because we've become family. And a lot of us are family because now our genes are connected. Mm. We've become an epigenetic family. How you like that? We're epigenetic family. Everybody listening on the show right now is part of the new epigenetic family. Brother Rich has created a whole culture. He's created a whole new, it's a whole new community. And I thank you for that, brother. And this is what we desire at this time, more of these. And we can all do this. Once we step out of the prison, first you got to recognize you in a prison. Even though you think you're conscious and, oh boy, I eat tofu all day and I know how to make everything out of mushrooms, you still may be in a prison. Just because you got a little freeness in here, you know, it's like this free range chicken. People talking about, yeah, I eat free range chicken, Dr. B. I, you know, I went down to the place and I bought the free range chicken. Did you know the free range chicken, 12 chickens get to walk around in an area three by three feet, mm -hmm. a cage, 12 chickens. Mm -hmm. The free range chicken ain't out on the range. They didn't say he was out on the range. The words are very, you know, it's a, you got to watch these twisty words. It's a free range chicken. It's organic pork. They got organic pork at Half Foods on at Christmas. How are you going to have a, 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 a organic pig? It's an impossibility. It ain't organic. It's nasty. No, let me stop. Cancel, cut, delete. I didn't mean to say that. To <laughs> <sighs> the bottom line right here is we have to come together. And become whole within ourselves. Well, whatever you have, maximize the minimum. Use what little you have right now to create more. But don't say you don't have anything. Don't say you have something. You've got to expand it and grow it and water it. Those are seeds. You start with whatever you have. Okay? Would that be all right? 
No, definitely. Oh, Chazzo, um, the, the truck that I showed, because Chazzo was talking about the number seven, that's not the exact truck I seen. Yeah. I was showing a picture of those trucks are everywhere. It was a it's Swift cool. truck, but I didn't take a picture of it. So I just Googled Swift um trucks to show you an example of the truck that I seen. But that wasn't the exact what? truck that was in front of you. Y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Rich, when was your father's birthday? You remember? He's an Aries, April 2nd. April 2nd. Oh, he's April 2nd. He born the same, yeah. Yeah, he born the same day as Marvin Gaye. Wow. Same yeah. day as Marvin Gaye. Interesting. And the, the word, the name Swift adds up to master number 22 in the Chaldean system. The name Swift, that's a master number. So anytime you see that number, you see that, that name, that word, think about that number, that master building. That 22, master right. Architect, that floor. Think about that higher level. So he's touching, he's talking to you from that higher level. That's and your Swift. father was an amazing man. Yeah. Yes. You Even, know, see, so, some people say. Women loved him too. Women loved him. King, I got some stories to tell you. I'm, <laughs> you. You know your shit. I got some stories to tell you. Some brother. private you know stories. <laughs> but you check it out. Shit, you know your shit. A lot of people say, well, my daddy wasn't there. And they're mad. They're upset because the daddy wasn't there. Maybe that might be good that daddy wasn't there. What if daddy was half crazy? What if daddy's brother was Wolfman? Mm. Or if he was a drinker and he had issues? <laughs> really quickly, a sister came to me years ago. She hated her father, but she never met him. She never met him. She went to school. She became a doctor. She's very successful, but she's angry because her father wasn't there. Her father left when she was a young girl. Yes. So I said, really? We, he left. Why do you leave? I don't know. And my mother, and rah, 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 rah. she's mad. I said, well, is your father still alive? She says, yeah, he's alive somewhere. I said, well, did your mother know how to find him? She knows how to find him, but I don't want to meet him. And she's cussing and she's spitting and foaming at the mouth. And she got fangs and blood coming out of her nose whenever she mentions the man's name. I said, let's breathe for a minute. What I'd like you to do is go meet your father. It took six sessions before she was ready to go meet the father. So she goes to meet the father. The father lives in Jamaica in a little cabin Wow. She goes to meet the man. Wow. And when she meets him, he cries and holds her and cries. And she's trying to be all stiff. Wow. And she says, I hate you. Why did you leave? He says, because I was a Black Panther. Mm. And when they came after us, they came after us and were coming after our families. Yeah. So to save y'all, I disappeared. Mm. And she says, well, but you didn't do such and such. She says, he says, did you go to college? Mm -hmm. Where where the money go? Where the money come from for you to go to college? Remember that car you got on your 16th birthday? Where do you think that came from? The house mm -hmm. y'all live in right now. Who do you think pays that note? The clothes you got on. How did you become a doctor? Mm -hmm. I sent everything I had back to y'all. I live in a cabin in the woods so that y'all could live. But I had to leave y'all so that y'all could live. That's right. She yeah. never heard this. The mama never told her. He said, "Well, I couldn't tell mama because they'd have killed her. She knew too much." So I had to just disappear, make it like I was dead, but I'm alive and I've been a part of your life. He's had, he, he knew what, to, when she graduated, he, everything was taken care of. Wow. So sometimes what you think you don't have, you have. Sometimes what you're calling a disagreeable thing is an agreeable thing, That's but right. you create a story in a movie within your own head. That's right. And sometimes you ask them, your mama or your daddy who was there about the mate and they're, they're upset because the person left. Sometimes they need to leave. Right. Because then you can begin to sharpen your own uh, crystal. If you have too much, sometimes you don't, you know, people don't have that have had too much. Yeah. They lose their minds. I've had, I've had, I've had clients that are very, very, very wealthy. Mm. Them are some of the most crazy people you have ever met in your life. <laughs> they had everything. They was gold. They was born with platinum spoons. Their ice skates was made out of diamond crystals. <laughs> crazy. Hands shaking, you know, give me the black. They got issues. They on Prozac and Prezac and Nowzac and Ozac. They taking everything to try to be here. Why? Because they had too much. So sometimes by you having less, yeah. if you are in your righteous mind, you begin to create more. That's right. From the little, there shall be more. Those who have little shall get less. No, those who, and if you, if you say you have little, you will yeah. get less. Have mm -hmm. more. Be abundant.
Right. Live this. abundantly. Use if you got one bowl of rice, eat that like it's 10 bowls of rice. And that rice could kill you anyway. If it's too starchy, you better cook it with some coconut milk, right, brother? <laughs> right, King? Yes, sir. Put that put some coconut milk with that rice. Otherwise, that rice will take you out. Take you out. <laughs> and you know what? We in in powerful words, Dr. B. We gotta we, go, huh? Listen, we, we gotta we gotta end the show the right way. Thank you, Dr. B. I, no, hold, on, hold on, let me let me say something. Okay, go we gotta end it the right way. There's one person. That was delusional enough to stay in the background. This brother just sat here for over an hour. <laughs> Everybody left. This brother was delusional enough. This nigga just sat here in the back, refused to leave, and just stayed here. <laughs> Everybody, I, I told the people an hour ago. Listen, I told the people an hour ago. I'm not taking no more calls. This dude just stays here for over an hour, just sitting in the back. So I'm gonna reward you for being delusional enough. You, you called him before. I remember Legend is in. I remember yeah. you. Yes. But I'm gonna reward you for being delusional enough for just for sitting there for a whole hour. Hey, What's I was question? just chilling with y'all. I, I, I appreciate. I, mean, I was. I was what, yeah, what, it was awesome. What, what What What's your question, my brother? You're gonna end the show. What's your question to Doctor B? We're gonna end um, it like. Um, I don't really have a question. I really just want to express gratitude. Yes. Um, I kind of want to leave it on the the high note that we've all been on tonight. Um, I really would just really want to say uh, thank you, Dr. B, so much for um, Blueprint for God Power Part 2. Um, what I got from that was, was, the, was, my, was my own power, which is the power of my voice. And me being, which y'all were talking about five all night, um, I'm Albert Henry Bungard the fifth. My mm. dad's the fourth. Mm. Mm. Um, so I have a lot of five. I have a lot of expansion. I have a lot yeah. of power within me. Right. And the, and like I said, when I was on the show last time, your podcast um, with yeah with well, with my podcast, I actually I wanted to talk about that in a, in a second, mm -hmm. but um because I have been making my podcast, but um the five is the fifth chakra, which mm -hmm. is what I feel like I'm the like the embodiment of, coming from the legend of Zen, mm -hmm. the Zen energy, the and the Emerald Tablets. It's it's cool because Thoth, Thoth talks about. Zen Uru being a word of power, which I'm coming to the realization of I am the embodiment of power, which is is my voice itself. So I, I just want to say thank you because you've helped me discover that within myself and I'm able to express it through my podcast, which I have finally um, established and, I, and I'm um, I'm reading the Emerald Tablets on my YouTube channel. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, King Simon. Thank you. Congratulations, brother. That's, what's that's your, good. What's yeah. your YouTube channel? Well, what is it? Uh, my YouTube is Zen's Mind, Z-E-N apostrophe S M I N D. Mm -hmm. um, I'm reading the Emerald Tablets right now. Oh, and I'm using my voice as my power, as my superpower, um, mm -hmm. to really articulate and really get the, the deeper meaning that's within the words and, and the tablets themselves. Cause they say like, um, if the light is within you, then the light that's when the, within these tablets will resonate as well. And I feel like I resonate, um, with that as well. Yeah. So brother, you know, we're all a little delusional tonight. So I kind of, you know, go and blank a little bit. God is weird. God is weird. God is weird. Yes. <laughs> So thank you very bro much, brother. And um, I see you got the sacred geometry behind you on the wall. Yes. And once again, I see the white mountain with the pine trees in front of it yeah. on that calendar. Yes, on the calendar. Yeah, yeah there, the it pine is. there tree, it is. The pine tree sets the rhythm and for the forest. Time. That's right. Because mm -hmm. on March 21st, the pine tree pollen pops. They say the pine tree lets go of its semen, which is the mm -hmm. pollen which inseminates the entire forest. That's that yellow stuff it's that, that, that you know did you see on the cars and everything on yes. on March 21st it begins the life cycle. And all of the animals in the northern hemisphere go into estrus. They go into the time of making love and creating more. It's the pine tree that pops that becomes the timing, right? For the pinnacle that puts pressure on the pineal, which is like a pine cone. You see, that actually jump starts everything in spring. We spring forward. Okay? Mm -hmm. Speaking of Zen, do you have the book, The Gene Keys? Mm. I do not. I, I do. do not. I, I would do. go. Okay. And get Gene yes. Keys. As a powerful. Yes. By Richard Rudd. 
Yeah. The Gene Keys. Very good. Writing book. that down and right go now. Go to Google. You can go to Google. Anybody can do this. Go to Google and look up my Gene Gene Key free profile. Yes. Okay. I have mine. You'll get one in minutes, and it gives you these numbers, and it begins to talk about yeah. these particular attributes that you have that are old. Oh, this is some. This is some ancient, ancient knowledge that's built into a small per, per, uh, percentage of your genes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a traveler. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're from the fifth realm. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at your throat. That's why your thing is the voice. You're from uh, the fifth realm. You see what I'm saying? That's why mm -hmm. the symbol yes. you have on the wall, one of them has four lines. Mm -hmm. It's for actually two lines, but it's, it, it's, fi it's five because you have one, two, three, and the circle around it is five. Your whole thing is five. Wow. Five is power refinement. Five is the power is the hand of Fatima. Mm -hmm. mm. The power to change energy with your hands. It's in your hands. Yes. So every day, wake up, put your hands on your throat. Okay. And empower that fifth mm -hmm. chakra. You know, all of us are going through a whole fifth chakra thing right now, which is about expression. This is the time to really express ourselves and to know how to know when yes. and when to know how and when to talk and when not to talk. That's right. So thank you, brother. And I, yes, thank your you. gift so is going to be that book, The Gene Keys. It's going to take you to a whole new level. And remember, it's your it's pine trees weight. have just popped and you're climbing the white mountain. That's right. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Yes. Zen, we're about to get out of here. I want you to do something big. Um, I want you to lead us out with a little, little prayer, a little sun. Lead us all out. It's your time. Oh, yeah, oh, big stage. All right, all right, all right. Big Wait up. Let me adjust myself. Let me adjust myself. Lead Let's get out. serious real quick. Yeah. I'm going to be as serious as Dr. Be Serious. Yeah, brother. Lead us so, out. The show. Um, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll lead us out with some affirmations, if that's yeah, okay. Brother. Yeah, brother. Um, yeah. And I want to say that uh, um, thank you to my ancestors that have come before me. Um, thank you to the ancestors that have come before me. Thank you to my ancestors that are with me right now that guide me each day. And thank you to my ancestors who will be in the future, in my future time, to where I no longer exist in their life because I will exist in everything. Um, I am powerful. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I am abundant. Abundance flows to me. We are all struggling with money right now. <clears throat> so let us all a focus on that abundance that is our birthright. It is our birthright to be abundant, light on the way, light that we are, the light that is within us. I am a child of light. I am a child of the light, sun of the morning, an S-U-N of the morning. And let us all move together as one. Let us all become one, be one. We are one with each other. Together we move and together we will fall. But as long as we stay together, there is no falling. There is only up. Spirituality, spirituality, we're all spiraling upward and rightward together. Let us move in this path that we've carved for ourselves. Enlightenment, enlighten to be lightened on the inside, just like the pyramid, the pyramid, the fire in the middle, the fire that is within all of us. Let us ignite that flame. Let us ignite the flame that that is within us. Let us keep moving forward. Let us be strong. Let us keep going. Do not stop. Um, I, I had an experience one time through meditation that said, keep going a million times over and over and over in my head. I heard, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Slow down if you need to, but don't stop. Stopping is death, just like the shark. If a shark stops swimming, then it dies. So we must not stop, but we can slow down. We can control our pace. We can be at the pace that we need to be that is right for us because we're all on our own path, moving in our own way through the rhythm of the universe. We are all finding our own rhythm, our own frequencies. And these are the frequencies that we must ab abide by, abide by our own frequency. And that is the light that is within us the uniqueness that makes us who we are. Thank you. I share. I share. Brother, thank it you, was beautiful. You. And I just want to point one thing out to you, young brother, that somebody didn't That's notice. Fair. That negative statement that you said did irritate your voice. I want you yeah. to realize you okay. said something. I I'm did. not going to say what you said. 
I yeah. will rewatch the video then. You got rewatch it. Rewatch it. You said yeah. something about money. I, I shook my head. No, nope. oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. When you said something about money, you <clears throat> you had to clear your voice. Mm. Your body, your body mm. gave you a message immediately yeah. when Stop you said saying that. that. Yep. So, yeah. But like so that's and and I really respect that and, and thank you so much. But like that's that's you know that's where I'm at right now. My level where yeah. like I say something, immediate reaction to that's correct dope. myself because even that is yes. amazing. Yes. That is that's that right. is yes. a gift. You lied. You ain't lying. That's a gift. You, you, yeah. Did you see thank that, you. Um, Doctor B? You seen how? Yep. His throat corrected him. Yep. I saw it big time because he was he was lying. Exactly. <laughs> he was a, that was a flat line statement. And what mm. we have to remember, son. Mm. And you ever watch the movies and the guy that's wise always has a voice like that. <laughs> and oh, son, what you should learn the Zen way is the path of no resistance. Nature follows the path of least resistance. <laughs> Within yourself, you must be yourself for yourself. With yourself, you are the living crystal. You are the Zen master. And if it's a lady's voice, he has the same ashiness, but she is a lady with one eye. That's and right. Always an ashy voice, and it is That's an right. ashy voice that is coming through you, by you, for you. So don't lie about being broke or broken. You are rich. You are wealthy. You yeah. are three feet from gold. This is the voice of the wisdom lady with one eye. <laughs> Yeah. And Dr. B, I want to thank you and Ian Lavanza for this book, The Invisible Ache, Black yes. Men Identifying Their Pain and Reclaiming Their Power by Courtney B. Vance. Mm -hmm. I got the book. I said, yo, this mm -hmm. is about reclaiming your power. Like that brother just have to do. You got to reclaim your power. Don't push your power away. Reclaim it. Indeed. Hey, yes. um, Zen, give your information one more time uh, before you, um, for your, for your YouTube. Yeah. For my YouTube, yes. So my new YouTube channel is called Zen's Mind, Z-E-N apostrophe S M I N D. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, I'm reading the Emerald Tablets, uh, um, and I try to. Well, oh, I don't try. I am. I am doing because I catch myself in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I am presenting myself like this, where I would just talk about whatever I, f I feel, whatever um, I experience, and whatever I feel like the message that needs to be said at that exact moment. So, and I'm developing myself. I'm just now starting. So I'm finding my ropes. You know, it's a, it's a lot more difficult doing it all online for some reason than with my friends. So I'm trying to find the balance because I'm a Libra. So I find the balance in everything. Hey, keep up the great work, Zen. I appreciate you calling in. I look forward to seeing you next time, brother. Thank you so and much. Zen. I'll be here. And I'd Zen, probably, yes. I'd yeah. like to gift you too. I'd, oh, like, to, I'd right. like to offer yes. you a session with King Simon. King Simon, let me know. Uh, I'll take care oh, of it. Wow. Okay. The brother, get do a session with the brother and let yeah. me know. You know, I'll take care of it. Well, I got so I got some phone. Just that word alone, Zen adds up to an eighteen and a number seven and a seventeen and another one. So those are two old energies. So oh yeah, I, I already know what's happening. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah. Thank you Thank so you, much. Brother. I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Okay. Take take care, Zen. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Don't All forget night. to text Peace. me, Zen. So yes, sorry. I will text you. Thank you yes, so sir. much. Peace. Peace. Hey, Doctor B. King Simon, we finally, finally getting out of here. That wasn't that, wasn't that nice? How, how we did, ended with that? That was man, listen, phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm, just, I'm following the spirit tonight. I'm following the vibe, man. I'm following. You see what I'm the, saying? The flow. I'm respecting the flow. I'm respecting and, the. Flow. And today is the number eleven day universally when you add it all up. So this is the flow of the energy that needs to happen. Beautiful. 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 So, uh, King Simon, call me so you can get your bottle of platinum. Yes, sir. Yes, and uh, and uh, brother Rich, you're gonna call me tomorrow so you can get your bottle of platinum. And you know, it's called the Gregory Reserve because I created that product, platinum, for Dick Gregory. Really? Oh man, yeah, he I had a product and he added to it and said, This is what I need in mind. So we call it the Gregory Reserve, and it's platinum, gold, iridium, and it helps with heavy metals in your life expectancy and it puts pressure on that pineal so that you can become who you are. So the Platinum Life Elixir is the name of the product at the website, elevationtime.com. And it's that, also that product, Platinum, I mean, a passion, so you can get pumped up. Now, King Simon, don't you? You don't need no passion. <laughs> okay, brother, don't you call for that. And it's, a, it's another product that a lot of brothers have been getting that's been causing problems. It's called Rise and Shine. Oh, Listen, you got to be careful. Because then your girl calls me. Hello, is this Dr. B? Yes. Did you give my boyfriend something? I already know what she's saying. Oh, she wants man. a case. Give me a case of that stuff. 
Yeah. That stuff called Rise and Shine? He's ready three times a day. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. So let's be careful, you know. Not you know, you know. Let's let's just be careful. Just use things sparingly, you know. <laughs> do, we, do we have to end it all rated, Doctor B? Do we have this to? End R, that was that was oh, actually oh, G rated. That was your care. <laughs> Rise and shine. I didn't say anything. Oh, God. The woman calls the women. I know when they call. Hey, Doctor B. My name is Becca. Oh, I'm calling from Gazbekistan. Gazbekistan. Did it's you a, give Norbert something? Norbert. <laughs> Norbert. Norbert. No, I no. know what she's talking about. Rise and shine. And then yeah. she wants some of that pl- she wants some of that passion in that sacred womb. Who? Oh. It's, it's time oh. to make love, right? It's time to be connected. I'm talking about not just intimately. I'm talking about cosmically. Let's be one again. <clears throat> Let's Indeed. pull this thing together. Stop focusing on what they're telling you about the war and all this division. It's not true. It's your perspective. That's right. So for that to be happening, its opposite must be happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Indeed. Indeed. With that, family, thanks for tuning in. Brother Rich, Dr. Thank B. You. Simon, signing off, family. All right. Thanks, Take sir. care. Peace, Travel light. Travel light. Yes, sir.